It's confidential. Don't you know? The Earth rotates toward the east, so... Ah, this can't be happening. Who would do something like this? Ryuki, you're going to play the fleeing culprit this time. Terror used this elevator to bring Tokiko's right half into the room. The Terror. Hey, uh, I'm here. Uh, it has been a day. Uh, not really. I mean, work was very slow today. Uh, that being said, I have been uh, doing some auditions that popped up last minute with very tight deadlines. And, uh, I've also been packing for Anthrocon, so I've been a little busy today. Hopefully tomorrow I can be here a little quicker. Also, uh, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., there is going to be a Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase thing. <laughs> Sorry, one second. There we go. Yes, there will be a Nintendo Mini Direct tomorrow. Uh, but it's like 20-something minutes. That's not a Mini Direct. That's like a full-ass Direct. I, it's, they're just saying that because they're going to focus on third-party games, which is okay. There's, there's a lot of third-party stuff happening on the Switch that I'm interested in, so... Interested to hear what's going to happen, and maybe there'll be some new stuff, too. I mean, there'll definitely be some new stuff, but we'll we'll burn that bridge when we come to it. Um, I, I wouldn't bother waking up early for it, but I kind of want to, just because there's some other stuff I could get done tomorrow morning, too, if I manage to get up uh, at 9 a.m., which I don't normally do. I normally get up at, like, 10.50 and then have a half an hour to shower and get breakfast before work starts. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow's kind of like the last day I can do stuff before I have to go full uh, prepping for trip mode. But uh, yeah, anyway, we're uh, we're underground. We're, we're far underground right now. We're deep underground. Hey, Ixon, how you doing? Ah, voice cracked. <laughs> Hello. So, uh, ranting, ranting. Good. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. I'm, I'm, it's good to see you again. What haunted spot would you like to go to? Graveyards, old battlefield, mountains, ruins. Ruins. High quality answer, E. Having a chill evening, been house-sitting for your mom. Oh, that's nice. I still live with my mother, and, uh, we share the house. It's... It's a pretty good, pretty good setup we have right now. It's really nice. Uh, please do explain. I think it's because the dialogue's kind of jumpy. I don't know, something like that. Mom was one province over, just over an hour away, so it's not too hard. Oh, that's nice. That's cool. Uh, sorry. I'm getting... I, got, I have a message here. Uh, one second. Okay, sorry about that. So, we're underground. Uh, someone was murdered. We found a hidden elevator in their office building, and now apparently there's just a temple down here for this for this not-religion, this not-religion ideological society type thing. The pillar's holding up the ceiling. Sand is coming down from above. Looks like the ceiling has degraded. I hope it doesn't come down on us. Yes, I was drawn into activity in the chat that we're in because of, uh, because of, of weasels and floatzels. They are very good, very good creatures. I do love them. Nanupal X. Nice symbol here, too. The Nanupal X. Floatzels are ideal. Yes, they are. I have never actually raised one outside of, uh, Legends Arceus, so I might have to remedy that at some point. I haven't actually raised... A, t a competitive team in a while, long time. Right, torches. Elevator door. It leads up to the president's office. So 
So this one's a sequel to the previous AI. Yes. This uh, takes place... It takes place both a few months and six years after. There's like two different timelines that gets established very quickly. Like this is all flashback. Have an alpha flow tools in the 90th percentile. It's it's my life. Nice. Oh, I didn't know you did competitive Pokemon. Hmm. What is this box? I don't know. The Joe box from Urashima Taro? That one was at the bottom of the ocean. But there's a beautiful princess here, right? Where? I'll kick your ass! I meant size-wise in Arceus. Oh, right, Alpha Pokemon. I've already completely forgotten about that. It feels like so long ago that Legends Arceus came out, even though it was only like four months, five months ago. Not super worried about spoilers right now, but haven't played the first one. And huge fan of the non-every game series. You'll love this if you like if you like um, the Zero Escape games, then you will like this. Uh, just be aware that Uchi Koshi is, is is hornier than ever in these games, and uh, it's it's not always done. It's not always executed well. It's very creepy sometimes, and it's just it's just how it is, unfortunately. It's mechanical. This game is taking the cake. This this new character is uh, some sort of device, maybe. Yeah, Tama here. She's kind of she kind of takes it up to to eleven, and it's not always great. Can't you analyze it? Well, from here, no. I've had people who's who's watched me play the first, this the last two streams say that they were turned off from this game just because of Tama. At the very least, it doesn't seem to be explosives or poison gas. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> you mean it's safe to open? Probably. Okay, so something's in there. This is kind of creepy. Maybe it's a pedestal for performing some sort of ritual. Like offering a sacrifice. It's not an ironing board, that's for sure. Tokiko. She said Nyes isn't a religious group, but this is clearly... It's definitely got some cold vibes going on. Hmm. Oh, I thought I could open the box, but... Oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> Don't tell me you're going to open it. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't. Why not? Um, well, just a hunch. It should be fine. You said it's safe to open. I did add, probably. Still, we can't just not check it. You can't get the treasure unless you lay the dragon, huh? That's... no. There's so much wrong with that statement. But yes, that's the idea. I mean, it's a well-intentioned statement. It's one that I definitely heavily relate to. Thomas, the name of your D&D character? Really? What? Hmm? What was that sound? Ryuki, a biological signal has been detected. There's somewhere close. Oh, we're gonna get jump scared, aren't we? No, uh, what? What? What the? Fox Folk Druid. Ooh. I had a uh, Tengu Magus or Magus back when uh, I was doing... Was that Pathfinder? It, it, was it, or was it 4. Point? I can't remember how long ago. Oh, my God. I haven't played D&D so long that all the versions are starting to just melt together in my head. Tengu Kick-Ass, yeah. Tengu Magus with a, with a lightning sword. It was really nice. That that campaign wasn't my favorite, though. What? Why do you look like that? What do you mean? Anyway, um, uh. Luckily, named it the same thing the character's named after. Oh, um. Hey, freeze! I actually, don't know what Tom is named after. Uh oh. Uh, what is this? Blue man's getting away. Japanese for a sphere or orb or a droplet. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Ryuki, see the torch coming down from above. Whoa, okay. That's uh again, very easy QTEs. 
they're very generous with the time on that. Damn it. Which is funny because the oh 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 ooh, that one was okay. That was a little weird. Which is funny because the Somniums are way harder for Ryuki to beat with time remaining. Kinda see the time on her proportions. Well also she's she's an eyeball normally. Uh-oh. What the hell? I feel like I could have done this sequence last night instead of stopping where I did. Two thirteen. Farewell, Ryuki. Chapter three. R two. Abyss HQ. February thirteenth. Wednesday, nine fifteen a.m. Okay. Boss. I apologize for yesterday! Ryuki, we wouldn't need police if an apology solved everything. <sighs> I know you're doing your best on this investigation. Nevertheless, your screw-up yesterday really cost us. The investigation hasn't been proceeding like we hoped. Hmm. I'll make up for it! Please, give me another chance! <sighs> this reminds me of something. My daughter's been begging me not to decrease her allowance when she gets bad grades. Oh. Uh... Alright, no one here to talk to. Boss, she's in a bad mood. I thought you were a bit more capable than this, Ryuki. Oof. I mean, I got chewed out by my higher-ups, too. After work tonight, I'm going to my favorite host club and popping every champagne bottle in there. Pop boss's daughter. Your daughter? I'm still not used to hearing that. Oh? Well, I guess it's true that I don't give off a maternal image. I haven't done I know you were married. at all, really. My daughter just turned 18 last year, but she pretty much grew up all on her own. 18? She's older than I thought. <laughs> you wouldn't think it looking at this figure, huh? She's a grown woman now. She's capable of handling her business. Unlike a certain someone who gets overeager and screws up big time. Oh, my frame rate's dropping a little bit. Okay. okay. It's good. It's good. Slow show motivation. It's all right now. Because <laughs> I am here. Half might. Excuse me? What I'm trying to say is... I'm motivated, so please let me stay on this case. I'll solve this case no matter what it takes. In fact, I'm the only one who can. <sighs> Look, you realize it was that kind of gung-ho attitude that led you to making that mistake yesterday, right? I understand you want to distinguish yourself, but you're biting off more than you can chew. What mistake exactly did we make other than falling down and hitting our back? But I can't just stop now. I should be able to handle this better than anyone. Ryuki, boss is right. You're getting too impatient. Something's not right here. over because of one little slip up. More importantly, you need to accept your faults and learn from mistakes. Any new information about the investigation? Information? Oh, oh no. Other than what you already know. I, I don't like when my voice does that. Oh, right. There is some news about the case. It has an official name now. The Half-Body Serial Killings. But that's pretty long, so we've just been calling it the HB case. The HB case. Now you know how the media is. You don't solve this quick and they might end up calling you the half-brain investigator. So you'd better start getting things done, Ryuki. Roger. I understand your enthusiasm, Ryuki. So I'm giving you a chance to redeem yourself. I want you to continue investigating this case. Th thank you! But I need you to follow orders from above. Orders from above? What do you mean? It's official. Kuruto Ryuki, you're being demoted to a police officer. Oof. Fate worse than what? death. This is for yesterday's fiasco. Wait, you mean like a normal cop? That's terrible! That's way too harsh! However, I'll give you three days. 
If you can resolve the case within that time, I'll take back your punishment and you won't be demoted. Three days? Ryuki, we should look at this in a positive light. We can continue the investigation, and if we can solve it in three days, you can avoid demotion. It's impossible. We barely made any progress. How can I solve the case in three days? Hmm. Ryuki. Demoted? Me? I'd rather be a bum on the street than a disgraced cop. Ryuki! Was the letter A repeated oh, there? Oh, and the communication system still hasn't been fixed. I guess, uh, yeah, I'd rather be a, a bum. Oh no. So any data Tama obtains can't be uploaded to the cloud yet. They're very, very much emphasizing that point. So just like I said before, Tama's data will be lost if her body is damaged. Be careful. You seem completely out of it. Ryuki. Well, we know Tama's okay in the future, so... Whatever's going on right now isn't that big of a deal. All right, 10.30. Where's the shrine? Are you okay, Ryuki? Yeah. I think the scenery helped me calm down a bit. But to think... Demoted. Me. You still have three days. If you can solve the case by- It's impossible. Didn't mean to cut her off, but- I can't believe I was told this today, of all days. This game has an issue where when that's- those kind of dialogue boxes are happening, you can't deselect auto. Today was the day I lost my other half. Pulled out a broken watch from my pocket. Oh, is he talking about his brother? I had a younger twin brother. Yeah. He had a strong sense of justice. Whenever he saw evil, he would stand up to it, face it head on, no matter what. That's just the kind of guy he was. His dream was to become a detective and help bring all the dangerous criminals in Japan to justice. My brother and I were really close, and we hung out all the time. It was like he was another me. But on that day, Six years ago, my brother and I were in the city, and we happened to see a wanted criminal. I called the police right away, but the culprit tried to flee on a big trailer truck. He was about to get away, so my brother tried to stop him, and he ended up in front of it, and... He got run over, crushed half his body. This is the watch he was wearing. His time has been frozen since, and I lost my other half. My brother died six years ago, on February 13th. Today was the day. But I guess there's no point in me telling you all this. You already know my entire history. I hate that criminal. I hate the criminal that killed my brother. I wish I could catch him and rip him to pieces. And not just him. I hate them all. All the evil in this world. I hate it all. Then... are you really going to give up now? If you give up, the evil wins. I'm sure we'll end up- that Ryuki, criminal will end up tying back into the story somehow. Doing for your brother? Think about it. Also, the very fact that half his body was crushed. Yeah, you're right, Tom. Ryuki, Ryuki refers to him as his other half. I'll become a hero of justice. That's why I decided to carry on his dream and be a police officer. It's all very, like, on the nose to the to the theme of the game. With the bodies being all half sliced in half and stuff. If I fall into the bottom, I just need to crawl my way back up. I can't let it get to me now. Why I became a sinker? The reason I became a sinker at Abyss was so I could encounter the more vicious criminals. The foul, immoral kind that evade the law. Sinkers dig deep into their hearts and make them pay. I mean, except you're kind of digging into other people's hearts, too. That's my idea of a hero. I lost something of mine in order to become a sinker. One of my eyes. I had to extract my eye to become a sinker. Oh, so he did it willingly. So you could transplant an AI ball. Me. The surgery was last summer. Right after I was assigned to Abyss. Yes, so you and I have known each other for about half a year now. I've lost many things along the way. But thanks to you going into my left eye, I 
feel like a lot of that emptiness has been filled. Ryuki... Tama, as long as you're with me, I can keep going. No, I have to keep going. For my brother, I'm going to catch the HB killer. Yeah. Something just popped up there, or tried to. Okay, then it's time to pull myself together and get back to the investigation. So, got any new intel? What? I'm sorry. Do you have any new information for me, please, ma'am? Yes, I do. I looked into Chikara Horidori some more and came across something fishy. Also, I found something interesting about Shoma. Okay, guess it's up to me to start that conversation. Chikara was doing some dubious research in the past. His current research is pretty dubious too. Rewriting was. DNA to achieve immortality. It was, was even more questionable dubious. than that. Rumors say there were even human experiments involved. Human experiments? Anyway, word moves fast, and the research institute was temporarily shut down. This happened nine years ago. Hmm. During that time, Chikara went missing for a bit to avoid being investigated. But what about the current institute? It was reopened after things had settled down. Of course, that required a massive amount of funds. Which was provided by... Nice. Richie Chieda. Kizuna Chieda's father. What? That's new? Who's Richie Chieda? Richie Chieda is an extremely wealthy investor. He looks like Lalo He's Salamanca. He's not to be on the list of the world's most wealthy people. He's involved in a wide range of business ventures and holds many different titles. Investor, philanthropist, the founder of the Chieda Foundation, a university professor emeritus, a national goodwill ambassador. And after all that, he also became the chairman of a social welfare corporation, Iowan. Iowan? It's got AI it's in it and it's many vowels. It seems that's where he is now. Okay. So we got a lead, at least. What, what is it that bothers you about Shoma? The location indicated in the hidden message in Bats 490 was a research institute. That's what Shoma said, right? Yeah. But it actually wasn't Horidori Institute. I read through a ton of speculation threads online, and none of them mentioned Horidori Institute. So why did Shoma then tell us to where was it, really? I don't know. All I know for sure is it wasn't Horidori Institute. And that means Shoma lied. I have to talk to him. Where's Shoma now? I don't know. It looks like he turned his smartphone off. Yeah, he's the smarts are in his brain. Have a lead. Remember what Komeiji said? Yes, amusement park. Yes, he really loves this Ferris wheel too. He's almost in middle school and he still comes here by himself all the time. Ferris wheel? The one on the rooftop amusement park at Misaton. Okay, so that obviously, that has to be some kind of mask that he's wearing. Like, helmet. How deep do you like your ocean? 5 meters, 1,000 meters, 6,000 meters, 400 million meters. Uh, 5 meters. Even an amateur can go diving, E. Well... Wait. Before we go, you have a call from Iris. Sagan? Yeah. Oh, Ryuki? There's something I wanted to tell you about the case. What is it? Well, I'm sorry. Recording is about to start, so I can't really get into it right now. Would you be able to visit Lemnusgate later? Lemnusgate, the talent agency Iris belongs to. That Mizuki the technically owns. The also has a small recording studio. Alright. I'll see you there later. Okay. Our destinations are decided for now, but... Nyoen, Misaton, and the third is Lemnusgate. There's one more place I'd like to go. Marble in Golden Yokocho. Ah, Mama the Informant. I like that you new costume. she might know something. That's right. Then let's get going. Yeah. Fortune teller. Let's go. 
Alright, well, we're entering one of these phases, so we're just gonna go one by one here. Most of these areas are new, though. We haven't been to any of these except for the rooftop. Huh? Ryuki, why are you here? To question people for the investigation. Why are you two here? Kizzy comes here to play with the kids sometimes. She really loves kids. Yes, I find it quite soothing. And it energizes me. I'm just tagging along. That makes sense. Mizuki could probably fit in with the kids pretty good. I feel like I just got insulted. Mind if I kick your ass? <laughs> Vixis is quite popular with the children here. She played with them often when she was still living with Mr. Date as well. So is she not by this point? Jungle gym, castle slide, big tree, swing set, I see seesaws, playground steps, swings back and forth in the spring, it's Eowyn's dormitory. Saying that word is like slowing my brain down. Pansies are in bloom. How could you even see that there's something there? It's Mizuki. She's looking around curiously. Can't even begin to imagine her taking care of children. But she'll kick me if I say that, so I'll keep it to myself. Oh, so you want to get kicked. Your thoughts are written all over your face. It's all right now. Because I am here! Half might! W what? You just seemed kind of quiet, so I thought maybe you weren't feeling well. But I'm always like this. Though, now that you mention it, I guess my old leg wound is bothering me a bit. Hmm. Wait, where are you looking, perv? Huh? You brought it up. By the way, is that a bullet wound? Yeah. Doesn't it hurt? No, not really. It's from when I got shot by the new Cyclops killer. But I think the pain I felt inside was worse. Now I'll be scarred forever because of that bastard. Shouldn't you be in school? School's closed because of the flu. We won't have classes for a while. Then aren't you supposed to stay at home? A certain freeloader is at home all the time because he's on vacation. Oh, so she still so with Dante. Annoying. I had to get outside. She must mean Mr. Date. Young girls have wills of their own. What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Being here takes me back. Zuki. It's Kizuna. She has a gentle smile on her face. About the questioning. You mentioned you were questioning people. Is someone here related to the case? I'm here to talk to your father, Mr. Richi Chieda. What? My father? Yeah, I heard he's here. He is, though I believe he is currently in a meeting. I see. Then I guess I'll wait until he's done. You're close with Mr. Date, huh? Indeed. We have been quite close. Some time ago, when I nearly got in trouble with some delinquents in town, Mr. Date saved me. Since then, I have been showing my gratitude with home-cooked meals. Oh, that's nice. Or booking a hotel room for him if he is unable to go home for whatever reason. Like when we got in a big fight and I kicked him out. As we continue to interact, oh, broke his spine we in the, have come in the process. a sort of mutually beneficial relationship. You must like Mr. Date, Kizuna. Yes, but merely as a friend. She was pretty direct about it. Yep. That old vibrating bed of a man would never be a viable romantic candidate. Wait, is Kizuna an adult? I thought she was a high schooler. Also, we haven't met her in the future, haven't we? Then again, we really haven't met most people in the future, since I have not done a ton of that part. Kizuna's 18. Yeah, no, that's, that's not good. Date, age unknown. 
Oh, I actually don't remember how old he is in the first game. It's a bit of a gray area because of, uh, reasons. Probably meant slay the dragon, but you know how she is. Lay the dragon. Half-body serial killings. A sign board at police HQ announced the name. Hello. Ubu. Police officer. There are nine ranks of, in the police force. Chief of police, deputy chief, commander, captain, lieutenant, sergeant, detective, officer. Officer's the lowest. And that's why they don't get names. Still three uh, tutorials I haven't seen yet. I want to see something, because it said R2 when I started this day. There's no alternate route out of here, is there? Maybe there is, if I know... Once you clear... Yes, I saw this yesterday. Why am I getting that now? Okay, so... Purple means, uh... Purple means sink, or somnium. It's very weird that it's, like, limited... To one route or the other. I... Uh, I, I know it's it's not there's like gotta be other stuff to this timeline. I have a feeling there's like a mechanic that we haven't seen in play here that's gonna result in more branches coming up. Actually, why are these all why do these have green dots on them? Summaries. Oh, okay. That's kind of annoying. I don't like the idea of having to clear these each. Oh god, that face. I mean, it's interesting because so far all the Somniums on this route have only had one route out of them. Which means that this has just been a straight line with nothing else involving it. And the only choice so far with this has been whether or not I knew the culprit's name. Which leads me to believe that if I said yes, I'd be asked for it and then locked out of this route. Until I go back and actually learn it from this route. Which makes me wonder if I'd like start a new game afterwards and then tell them the name early, can I just go to the second route? But I mean, there's also other instances where there's something going on with this, because again, I was asked for a number here, and if I know the number, I'm assuming it would cause something to happen, but uh, who knows? Who knows? What do you call Mizuki Big Sis? Uh, we did not get much of a chance to speak yesterday. For various reasons, I have been living with another girl since I was nine years old. Another girl? Not your relative. Hmm? No, we were not related by blood. We were the same age, but I referred to her as Big Sis. She was so beautiful, collected, and dependable. She was the spitting image of an older sister. There is something about Mizuki that reminds me of her. Hmm, I see. Beautiful and collected, huh? Why does that look in your eyes offend me so much right now? Is she not with you anymore? When she turned 15, she was adopted. So, we do not live together any longer. So, what is it you wish to discuss? F father There he is. And who is this? Mr. Ryuki, from the police. He is investigating the HB case. I see. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Kuruto Ryuki, from the Metropolitan Kuruto. Police Department. May I ask Was you Was Ryuki's questions? last name? Huh. That's fine, but I don't have much time. I would appreciate it if you're quick about it. It's Kazuna's father, Ryuchi Chieda. Indeed I am. An investor and founder of the Chieda Foundation. You're also the chief director of Iowen and a major shareholder of Horadori Institute of Genetics, is that right? And all of that has kept me quite busy. So, you already know all that about me. What more do you want me to say? <sighs> this guy's a piece of work. He obviously doesn't respect us. I mean, he is one of the wealthiest people on Earth. A police officer is probably like an aunt to him. Do you know about the case? Of course I know about it. One of the victims was from the research institute I invest in. 
I've suffered heavy losses because of it. It was quite the aggravating incident. Ooh, this is Keith Silverstein doing this voice. I would like the police to resolve this problem as quickly as possible. Before they waste any more of our taxes, that is. Ugh. I sympathize with his comments, honestly, about Jin. Jin Furaway. You mean the first victim? Of course I know of him. In fact, anyone involved in finance couldn't avoid knowing him. Were you close with him at all? Not particularly. I checked. He and Jin had practically no contact with each other. The series is, a, is about a bunch of sort of rich people who are related to other rich people. And, and about them overcoming difficulties with the power of friendship and dreams. Quite literally. About Tokiko. Who is that? The president of Nice Japan. Nice? I'm not familiar. I've never even heard of it. Do you have an alibi? No, I'm not gonna ask him that yet. About your relationship with Chikara. Well, he is the director of the research institute I'm funding. Or maybe I should say was. Either way, that was the extent of our relationship. He was quite... well, an eccentric individual. And? I only invested in his work. I don't care what his personality was like. It doesn't concern me as long as it doesn't affect his job. Was there any work-related trouble? Not at all. You seem to be searching for a motive for me to kill Chikara. However, I gained nothing from I like how death. he gave the eyebrow I raise there. I suffered nothing but losses because of this incident. In other words, I am a victim as well. And you suspect me of all people. The police in this country continue to prove their own uselessness. Seriously, what is up with this guy? Yeah, he's just saying the truth. He doesn't have so much authority. We could pin something on him and book him. Well, hold on now. Hold up. I'm gonna say, oh, please explain the story. So I literally have no idea what's happening other than murders happening, detective stuff, main guy doing detective stuff, timelines, what? Something is really wrong with Ryuki. He seems to, really into this Date guy. He's into Date mostly because I think he sees him as a mentor. And because since this is the sequel and Dante was the main character of the first game, they're kind of they kind of keep him distant from everyone, just to uh, just to like tease him, I guess. Maybe he'll become more important as the as it goes on. But I mean, you kind of have it boiled down there by what you said. It's the, the more murders are happening. We're we're investigating the murders, and there's the possibility that there may be stuff going on where we're going to unlock more timelines. Right now, everything's on the same timeline that you that on on the flow chart. It's just a matter of are we in are we in the past or are we in the present? And right now we're still in the past because we're just this is just like a flashback sort of. About I understand you are the majority shareholder of Horidori Institute. Regarding all like the the pseudoscience stuff that like the woman from yesterday was talking about before she got sliced in half. You don't really need to understand a lot of it. It's as long as you get the gist of the fact that she believes that they're living in a simulation. You're, you're good to go. You don't really need to know anything more specific than that. If it's kind of going over your head, which is fine. Because again, this this the guy who directs this game, he does this in every game he makes. He puts a lot of like pseudoscience, quantum physics stuff in there that isn't the easiest for people to grasp. So don't feel bad if you if like someone goes on like an explanation of something and it goes over your head yeah ice nine so no one is real but also they are real that's what they believe we don't have any proof that there's that this world is a simulation unless this game's gonna get super meta and then make us aware that we're playing a game or make them aware that they're in a game yeah ice nine ice nine uh schrodinger's cat the the, the quantum physics they did this they did the slit experiment in this one with the with the wave the light wave as the de facto owner of the research institute i'm sure you must know of its origins and insider information it's also just really impressive that the people who made zero time dilemma also made the the ai games because it is such a huge step up in quality in terms of how the characters look and move and the environments if i ever stream the zero escape series and you and you watch me play zero time dilemma that series is, that game is so, so janky looking. It, it, look, it looks so outdated for a game that came out in 2016. But that's also because they had to make it for the 3DS first and foremost, and then they made, and then they, you know, up it to the Vita and PC. 
Sure, you must know if it's origin. Okay. There's that one scene with the big head in this game. Can't tell if that was on purpose or not. The big head. Was it the kid? The kid getting? Oh yeah. In the, in the dream. You're right. What are you trying to say? Well, also remember that uh, as I as I mentioned once, once or twice. This game is, is optimized for Switch, because the first game looked nice, but it had a lot of loading issues on Switch. Whereas in this game, whenever they do literally this thing right here, where you see like a, a, a square cut in, a diamond cut in of someone, they're using like a very low res background and a very generic like pose for the character to, to make it easier to load. Because in the other game, in the first game, even on the Switch, these diamond cut ins would like load in a whole scene, like a whole cutscene in them sometimes, and it put a lot of strain on the Switch, made the game run very slowly. This, you deal with more choppiness, but it seems to not slow down at the very least. It's just that the frame rate drops and some of the image quality is lowered. I explained the information about Chikara that Tama had obtained, about the dubious research that he had been conducting, about the rumors of human experiments and that this research facility was shut, forced to shut down nine years ago. Along with the fact that Chikara disappeared in order to avoid being investigated, and that the current research institute was built after the heat from the incident, from that incident, had settled down. Oops. I keep wanting to hit Y, talking about my soft no, stop. Go away, Tama. Talking about it... I'm sorry, I'm used to Ace Attorney where Y is like the... the, the log. Understand that you're a majority shareholder. As the facto owner, you must know the origins. Okay. Did you know all of this? I did. You provided the capital required to rebuild the research institute, did you not? Yes. Mm hmm. Why'd you decide to fund it? The gene therapy research that was being led by Chikara. That research had a great deal of value and potential. Even with all the advancements in this day and age, there are many people who are still suffering from incurable diseases. Not to mention all of the children who can't live a normal life due to the illnesses they were born with. I have seen the suffering of so many people, precious to me. Chikara's research had the potential to help all of those people. It brought hope to humanity itself. It's certainly true that his personality and past weren't without issues. And I won't deny that the research faced criticism due to its radical nature. Still, if it can help alleviate the suffering of so many people, I wanted to put my support behind it. In other words, I invested in the future that research institute could bring us. Tama, is there anyone in Mr. Chieda's family that has an incurable disease? Uh-oh. No, and of course, he doesn't have one himself either. His only daughter is completely healthy. And his wife, Kizuna's mother, passed away long ago. I'm wondering if maybe he does know about Nyes, and uh, he believes that she could be brought back from the dead. Because that was a whole thing that Tokiko went on about. Oh my god, all my little jars are tipping over. That was something that Tokiko went on about yesterday, how they could not just resurrect someone who recently died, but bring someone dead back to life. Poor Shisamon is not evolving. Oh, speaking of digital pets. I got a whole family of them. What ocean current do you like? Equatorial, Gulf Stream, Kuroshio, South Indian. It's a famous current near Japani. I like it too -y. I screwed up my Renamon and I locked myself out of getting, um getting Mikuman or, or the maid the maid ultimate right now it's right now I'm it's it's the blue it's the blue one uh Chashiramon yeah Chashiramon and my only options are the ultimate beat level 15 Digimon which I I'm not gonna be able to do with with my current Digimon or get Parasimon which is like probably the worst ultimate for that dim but uh, once I beat it, I'll probably beat level 15 and then go back and do another Renamon run. I'm just trying to beat the uh, adventure missions on all my dim cards right now. I think you beat level 15 with any Digimon on that dim. 
true it's just a pain to like go to the later levels and then lose and have to redo them it's easier just to get an ultimate do it because once you have an ultimate no so i put a new renamon and it's still counted i think if you put in the new renamon while the other one is still on there or while it's i don't know because here's the way it works it doesn't save your progress to the bracelet itself if you transfer over a digimon that's beaten level 15 uh to the app after it's beaten level 15, it puts a mark on your profile for that dim card. And then anytime you transfer over another Digimon into it and then put it back in your bracelet, it has like the level 15 cleared mark on it, which is like, it's not a real mark. I'm just saying it's, it's like invisible. And what that means is that that Digimon can then reach the level 15 locked uh, evolution. Apparently the new vital bracelet might have more levels with unlockables in it. It might, it might change how some of them work, which is making me really excited. Because it gives you more of an incentive to play the levels earlier. What were you doing two days ago? February 11th, around 8 p.m. And on February 9th, at 6 a.m. At least that's how I think it works. I, I, I'm i pretty sure. I know that, like, if you upload a, a Digimon onto the app that's beaten level 15 of the adventure mode, it gives you the clear... Like, if you look at your dim card list, it colors in the little symbol next to the dim card name. And then what that means is that any other Digimon from that card that you transfer in and then out will have that level 15 qualification applied to them so they don't have to redo that level or that thing. I love the vital bracelet so much but it can be harsh when you get whipped after an adventure mission yeah. Went through level 13 four times even though you were using a Talmon it's, it's rough like yeah it, the problem is, is that the Digimon battle system is so it's, it's so like there's so much luck involved in it regarding even just hitting that's, uh, it's, it's not always the best thing. I'm just trying to optimize it right now so I get through as many adventures as I can before I start going to, like, fill out the dim rosters. So I'm doing Renamon and Gilmon now, and then I'll be doing, um, I'll be doing Ancient Warriors, which is the, uh, V-Mon card, and New Metal Empire, which is, I believe, is Dark Metal Greymon? Those are, like, the mascots of those two cards, and then I'm, then that's all of them that I have right now. I don't want to get the non-Digimon ones, but apparently the yellow Vital Bracelet B is going to be the My Hero Academia one, so if I get it, I'm probably going to end up doing that card as well, depending on how the progress works on it. And I don't hate My Hero Academia, so I'm fine with the... Uh, I'm fine with getting that if it means having a better Vital Bracelet that comes in my favorite color. Yes, Ancient Warriors is the V-Mon card. It only comes with a very specific model of Vital Bracelet that I actually had ordered originally, and then I was able to get a Digivice V, which is the upgraded one. Well, you have it, so... Uh, yeah, I just remembered you, t you told me you have that one. So I ended up having two, and then I gave the, the... the special card, or the special bracelet, to my friend. But they already had cards that they wanted to use on it, so they were like, oh, you could just keep the Ancient Warriors dim for yourself. And I was like, oh, cool. It was a gift anyway, so it's not like they really... Could be picky about it. Don't hate it, but it kind of burned you. Yeah, a lot of people are very inappropriate with uh, most of the cast. And that's so stupid, too, especially since the best hero in that game, in the game, in that anime, is, a, is an adult. And her whole power is that she could turn into a dragon. Come on. You're going after all the high school kids when you have, like, the perfect, the perfect adult hero right there. What is that supposed to be? Confirming my alibi? Yes, yeah. well, it's only a formality. I was like, Selkie, you think he's filler only? It's been a while since I've watched it, because I've only watched the dub, which is caught up, but it, it's been a few months now. <laughs> I see the police have no problem wasting people's time. Well... Fine. Two days ago, I was having dinner with the Federation of Economic Organizations in Ginza. Ah, the FEO. I was on a business trip on the 9th, and I stayed at a hotel in Kyoto. Dama? I just checked. He's telling the truth. So wait a minute. You know, it's really silly, too, because if... If we know the guy's name and identity, Tama could just check all this shit ahead of time without having to ask him. There, there's nothing stopping her from doing that. Why do we have to agitate people by, by grilling them? He was spotted on surveillance cameras in each location.
Perfect Adult Heroes present Mike. Yes. I would definitely agree he's up there. He's up there. He's definitely up there. What is it? No, it's just... Is this your first time here? Kizzy's invited me a bunch of times before. Big Sis is very popular among the children, and she is great at keeping them entertained. I... I'm not as good as you, Kizzy. I see. Feel free to come back anytime. Any friend of Kizuna's welcome here. You, on the other hand, can get the fuck out Ryuki, and never come back. I just looked into Iowan. I came across some interesting information. Oh boy. 23 years ago, a child in their care went missing. What? The child was six at the time. His name was Uru Somazuki. It was reported extensively, but he still hasn't been found. Main villain. Main villain detected. Do the animation. No matter how much wealth you have, there is a limit to the people you can save. How powerless I am. Perhaps it's necessary to be accepting of help wherever you can get it. Alright, told us nothing. Mr. Chieda, there's one more thing I'd like to ask. What is it? It's about Uru Somazuki. You remember him, don't you? Yes. I will never forget. The Iowan missing child. That's what the media called it back then. Was it a kidnapping or an accident? The case was never solved. And the child is still missing to this day. What a painful memory. It makes my heart ache. Ask about the missing child case. As the chairman, I take full responsibility. But wouldn't you agree that the police should take most of the blame? After mobilizing so many investigators, they weren't able to find a single clue. What do you think, Tama? He has some personality issues, but he doesn't seem like an evil monster. It doesn't seem like he's lying either. Though, it is concerning that so many mysterious incidents have been happening around him. Are we done here? We've wasted enough time, I think. I'll be going now. F -f 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 Father! Leon? Wait, what? Huh? Oh, father-in-law. Please, let me marry your daughter! I swear I'll give her a good life! I swear it to the heavens! Dude. So please, please, give me permission to marry your daughter. Kizuna, I'll be coming home late again tonight. Yes. Goodbye, father. Wait! Wait! Please don't ignore me! Kizuna, who is this? A stranger. Oh, wait, 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 wait! We met at Matsushina Diner two days ago! You're that unemployed guy, Lian, right? Did you go to the unemployment office? Uh, I'm gonna go tomorrow. That's a no. <laughs> In other words, you're a leech on society. I've never sucked anyone's blood. I don't think he was being literal. No job, no education, no manners. Not to mention, you're drinking in the middle of the day. Oh, uh, but this is non-alcoholic. And you dare call me father. To put it frankly, I wouldn't touch you with a ten-foot pole. How rude! I'm a human being, thank you very much. And I am not a pole vaulter! In any case, stay away from my daughter. Though it's not like she would give you the time of day anyway. Uh, wait! Attitude aside, I'm I, I'm kind of in agreement with what most of that guy has said in the course of this dad segment. Must be really busy. I don't think that was the issue. Looks like he's feeling down, but his core remains undamaged. That guy from Matsushita Diner is kind of a weirdo, isn't he? He doesn't seem like a bad person, but. I've been here before, but this was my first time meeting Mr. Chieda. Though... Hmm. Hmm. 
That is how my father always is. Mr. Ryuki, is my father related to the case somehow? It's still hard to say. I see. He has been following me around since we met at Matsushita Diner two days ago. Great, a stalker. Considering how persistent he is, I may have to deal with him as a cop. Oh, actually, he was so persistent that I allowed him to consider us friends for the time being. Seems like this girl's problematic in her own way. Huh. I like how they modeled the kids playing and they're either too far or just off camera to like really really look at them. <laughs> Leon. Oh, it's you again. You seem to show up wherever I go. Maybe we're connected somehow. Yesterday I was watching you after we finished talking and you just stood there staring into the abyss for about 10 hours. Not that I want to be connected with the dude. Ah, you were at Matsushita Diner too, weren't you? Yeah, why? Um, wait. Uh, what's this called again? Rendezvous? Deja what? vu. No, that's not it. A uh, flirt -ally. What the hell is this guy talking about? I have no idea. Uh, I almost have it. It's right at the back of my uvula. Can I choke slam him? Yeah, go ahead, actually. As you know, I met Kizzy two days ago at Matsushita Diner. When I saw her, <laughs> it was love at first sight. I tried to get her attention. When Kizzy left the diner, I followed her. When she boarded a train, I spent all my money to get on the same one. When she went in the girl's bathroom, I followed her. Ryuki, cuff it. But decided not to go inside. Even though she kept ignoring me, I never gave up trying to talk to her. And finally, in Yoyagi Park, she acknowledged me. Kizzy finally decided to accept my love. I told him it was acceptable to be strictly friends. So... <laughs> that that, that look in her eyes. You set a bad precedent there. However, I believe you promised you would be more serious about your job search. I do not associate with those who do not work. There's let like alone sun be rays. friends with them. Yeah, but I was here right yesterday, there. so... It was indeed helpful of you to play with the children. However, that does not conclude your promise to me. I'm sorry. I feel like we're destined to be together, Kizzy. I want to stay by your side. Uh, I totally crashed and burned today. All because this thing caused a misunderstanding. Why are you carrying uh, it like that? That wasn't the issue. Meeting the parents is a once-in-a-lifetime event. I wanted to calm my nerves a bit. So I figured I'd show I him my non-alcoholic beer can. Next time we meet. That's some real positive thinking. Huh, damn right. If you aren't in it to win it, you've already lost. Maybe you could learn something from him, Ryuki. Don't even suggest it. But I was basically told that I'm useless just three days ago. Can't say it doesn't sting after hearing it so many times. Remember how I said I got fired from my cleaning job? And the place I worked was Horadori Institute. What? I uh -oh. actually used to be a thief. I was so good at lockpicking, they called me the master of unlocking. I used my like skills to evil borrow reference there. valuables many times. I've gone clean, of course. I got arrested, did my time, and I haven't stolen anything since. I was so stupid back then. And I honestly regret it from the bottom of my heart. But Chikara Horidori, the director, found out about my criminal record. And he fired me. He told me, a person who falls to those depths can never rise again. Damn it. It's just not fair. I've been working hard since I got out of jail. That's why I was like that back at the diner, by the way. To be honest, I was debating whether I should just kill myself. That's when an angel appeared before me. Me? Huh. That's right, Kizzy. You. I felt saved. I wanted to give it my all and live again. 
You saved my life. Leon, please tell me one thing. Anything! You have not stolen a single thing since you were released? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course I haven't. So you haven't used your lockpicking skills either? Huh? Huh? Oh, hold on! Mm? Don't tell me you broke into someone's house! N no That's not wrong, but it's wrong. It's true that I opened a lock and broke in somewhere, but I wasn't committing a crime! <sighs> the thing is, last night... Last night? You broke into a house? No, n not a house. Uh, I guess I have to say it. I broke in to Horadori Institute. What? Oh, but like I said, it wasn't a crime. It was for an investigation. I was helping the police. The police. Strange. I didn't hear anything about that. Hmm. Maybe it was unrelated to the HB case. Or maybe he's the just lying. The goal was to get inside the hidden room inside Horadori Institute. Good. But that in time, end, good luck with the game. Thank you. Thank you for anything. stopping by, Ixen. I really so I appreciate it. Anything either. I'll talk Please to you later on me. on Wait, Telegram and Twitter. Who asked Twitter. you to do this investigation? <laughs> I can't tell you that. It's supposed to be a secret. Have a good sleep. Secret? You just told us the whole thing. Anyway, I just want you to know I didn't do anything illegal. At all! Very well. I will trust you, Leon. Oh, thank you! You really are an angel, Kizzy! My name. Leon is spelled L-I-E-N. In French, Leon means bond. Just like Kizuna means bond in Japanese. Well, well, how about it? <laughs> That's destiny, right? Oh, I've had just about enough of him. Sounds like a bit of a stretch. I agree. Oh, crap. I forgot to mention something important. I should have said this earlier, Kizzy. The order was supposed to be the other way around, but here it goes. Kizzy, please marry me. Wait a minute. Is that? What, yeah, what I is hope that? my Prince Charming will appear before me with a glass slipper someday. That's my dream. Not an engagement ring, but an engagement shoe. I bought them using my entire life savings. Please, accept. I... I... cannot accept that. I don't even know her shoe size. We would need to have a relationship for an adequate amount of time first. What? Kizzy? You mean, you'll date me? No, that is not what I meant by relationship. I meant that we would need to spend time together as friends. How long? How long? Hey, how long would we need to be friends? Oh, well, this guy's pissing me off. Five years? No, perhaps six. If after six years you still feel the same way, then... Okay. Got it. Then I'll take good care of this for six years. What? Seriously? What if you lose them? Or break them? Hey, where'd you even get those? I have a good idea. Oh? There. I put the glass slippers in there. And the letters. I wrote out how I feel now in one of the letters, and in the other... I have written how I currently feel in that letter. This is a time capsule. We'll bury it here, then dig it out six years from now. If oh. you still feel the same way as what's written in the letters in six years. Yeah, then you'll accept the shoes. Right, Kizzy? Yes, then... Perhaps... Six years, huh? huh. You know... That is kind of romantic. I didn't know you had this sort of side to you, Ryuki. That's a very interesting coincidence that they just happen to say six years, and the future the future part of this game takes place six years from now. So what does that mean? Is is this event tied to maybe something? 
Is this event somehow tied to the bodies appearing six years in the future? Okay, I'm burying it now. Ah, uh, I can't wait. Six years. Six years is a pretty long time. You sure you're still gonna feel the same way? Of course. My love is eternally undying. Huh? Kizuna, what's wrong? Oh, that again. What? What again? You know how dogs pee when they get excited? It's kind of like that. Oh, uh, she's got to dance? I don't get it. Just watch. Let us begin. Start the music! She's dancing. It's on the VOD mute. Absolutely an autistic tick, right? Like she, this is her stimming. If she's gonna, if she's gonna dance whenever she gets excited, this is something I understand very, very well. Idol Doru. <laughs> Can't help but feel there's more to this, just because of the nature of how this, how this, how Uchi Koshi writes his games. That this whole, the whole fact that they're burying this time capsule. For, whoa, controller, why you, why'd you automatically push the person there? I thought so two days ago too. You really are good at dancing, Kizuna. Thank you. Yeah, that was seriously amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, I need to get going now. Yeah, see you later. Have a nice day. Good luck with the investigation. Yeah, the six years thing is uh quite interesting. What should I call? How should I call in a UFO? Dance, look at the sky, Nile, meditate. Well, clearly, Nile, messenger. Get invited to a group Nile chatty. Blocky. Loving impish crazy 11, brave 9. Excuse me. Anyway, like I said, tonight's going to be a bit of a shorter stream because I started late and I'm going to go to bed a little early because I want to wake up in time for... Uh, in time for the Nintendo Direct Mini. I wasn't originally going to watch it live, but I think I kind of want to just because then I'll have I'll be able to do some other stuff afterwards if I could get myself up and running. Name Richie Chieda, sex male age 54, birthday 18th of January, professor and chairman of Iowan. Like status, fame, power, Kizuna. Kizuna dislikes the unemployed, ignorance, rude people, day drinkers. Hobbies, gold, sailing, wine, bonsai, animal flossing. Animal flossing? 
Skills, horse riding, curling, getting spanked. What? Besides being the chairman of ION, he's an investor, philanthropist, founder of the Chieda Foundation, and an honorary professor. He founded the reopening of the Horidori Institute. Why do I feel like I've heard that name in the future? No, we haven't. Uvula. It's right at the back of my uvula. Explanation, LOL, uvula. It's good trivia. Almost as good as Cloud. Where it's yeah, it's 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 not a, it's not a huge it's not a blonde man with a huge Buster sword. So they go about a little more subtly than than No More Heroes does, where they say it and they just blur out the words. They they just don't say it. Don't say it. Don't think it. You know what I think we're going to see tomorrow in the Nintendo Direct? Because it's a third-party one. I, I bet we're going to get another trailer, or at least footage, of the Switch version of uh, Crisis Core. If it runs well on the Switch, I might consider getting it to stream it. Especially if there's something about it that maybe, like, might be different from the original. It's not a short game. Oh, Mr. Ryuki. What are you doing here? Here to see me on stage, perhaps? Sorry, but I won't be performing today. He isn't. Actually, I'm here to talk to Shoma. To Shoma? <laughs> that slow, slow head turn. You expect absolutely nothing? Well, here's the thing, I mean... I don't know. Why am I on a Ferris wheel with you? Uh, the weird, like, see, here's the problem. The fact that it's going to be a partner direct, so it's going to be third party, leads me to believe that there isn't going to be a main direct now at all. There's just going to be, like, it's, if I had to guess, it's going to be like what they did in 2020, where, like, every week we're going to get some sort of small thing, except they seem to be going a little bit bigger this time. Like, last week we got the whole Xenoblade one. This week we're getting the partner direct. I'm wondering if we'll be getting, like, a Splatoon 3 direct in a week. Maybe a Live Alive mini direct to promote that game. Because uh, the thing is, Nintendo is publishing Live Alive Remake, even though it's a Square Enix game. I actually expect to see that tomorrow. Like, I expect to see some Live Alive footage. Just because it's coming up and it's, uh, and it's technically a Square Enix game. This, my connection is really, really uh, inconsistent tonight, huh? It says excellent, but kind of boozing up with sugar-free soda tomorrow. <laughs> you know, you're just like Lien with his alcohol-free alcohol. Aren't you having fun? I would be if you weren't here. Ryuki, Shoma is actually responding to the conversation this time. This is proof that the chastity belt of his heart is loose. If you shove yourself in there, you just might open up. Jesus Christ, he's in middle school, Tama. Could you please not phrase it like that? Ryuki, why don't you try jumping off? No. 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 That's mute, yeah. I, to be fair, I haven't been dropping a ton of the stream. It's been less than one percent, but the last couple minutes, it's been it's been dipping every few seconds. That's why it's getting choppy. Shoma sitting in front of me. About Mizuki. I told you before, she's just a classmate. We're not friends, and I don't know much about her. Supposedly, she's attending school from her house near the harbor, but I guess her permanent address is in our school district or something. That's why she goes to the same school as me. So you do know a lot about her? No! That doesn't mean anything! Not like I'm even slightly interested in that uggo. Well... He really is a kid, huh? About Komeji. I don't want to talk about my dad. I told you before. 
I don't even want to think about him. Will you cut it out already? I don't want to talk about my dad. I already told you! I hate him! Huh. Happy now? I hate him so much, I didn't even want to say it out loud. But you were with him earlier. I was here alone at first, then Dad came. He wanted to make up. Make up? Dad and I are fighting. I ran away from home yesterday. You ran away from home? Yeah, remember? He left in the middle of your conversation. What were you fighting about? My friends made fun of me. How is that related to your dad? Because it's my dad's fault for being so pathetic. Pull yourself together. Show me how cool you can be on TV. That's what I said to my dad. Then... I bring smiles to the audience. If I can do that, I don't care if I get mocked. That's what it means to be an entertainer. When he said that, I blurted out, That's why Mom got sick of you and left! Dad turned bright red, and... Then why don't you just leave too? That's Oof. why I left the house. So when he turned red, did his whole square head turn red, or just the part that I assume is his actual face? You hate your dad that much? Do you think I could like someone like him? A stupid old comedian who gets clowned on all the time. Look, if there's one thing Twitter's taught me the last few days... If there's one thing Twitter's taught me the last few days, um... People are very, very horny... For, for a clown lady. A clown lady who who's from the arguably worst case of the entire Ace Attorney series. And when he does, it's always some ridiculous thing, like getting piping hot Odin shoved into his mouth. The day after he goes on air, I always get made fun of by my friends. I hate it. I'm sick and tired of it. Are you sure you don't actually like your dad? I told you, I hate him. Everything about him. I hate how much he drinks and how he acts so cocky and stubborn when he's drunk. He talks about all these big dreams that he can never achieve. When he sobers up, he remembers what he did when he was drunk and squirms under the blankets. Isn't that sad? It makes me hate him even more. The way his nose hair is always sticking out, the way he wipes his face with sanitary napkins, his stupid awful singing in the bathtub. What about his everything about square him. face? It's creepy, awful, and pathetic. I hate him! For hating someone so much, he sure pays him a lot of attention. They say there's a fine line between love and hate. Why'd you lie? What lie? You said the hidden message in Bats 490 pointed to Horidori Institute, but that's not true, is it? Can you tell me why you lied? And where the actual location is? Truth is... I never decoded it. What? I wanted everyone to think that I did. I wanted the attention, so I lied. How'd you know about the Horidori Institute? Are we done now? Don't talk to me anymore. That got a reaction. He's probably lying right now. His chastity belt wasn't loose after all. Red Boy, it's Thomas, if you're shut going up! going to say it that way, you at least have to add the of his heart part. Anyway, I guess I'll have to talk about something else to get him to loosen up. Praise is one wheel robot. That robot you showed me the other day was really cool. If you're that skilled, I'm sure you've gotten offers from lots of companies. N not really. I'm nothing special. I'm just really into robots. But even an amateur can tell that robot was filled with impressive technology. And the one wheel design is beautiful. Well, I knew it had to run on one wheel for sure. It was really hard getting the self-stabilization feature working with the one-wheel design. This like, jackets major electronics out there. companies make one-wheel robots to show off their advanced tech. Mm -hmm. Also, what's really great about my robot is its load capacity. It doesn't look like it, but it can easily carry up to 45 pounds. And I want to upgrade it more so it can carry double that. I see, I see. <laughs> I know you don't really care. 
Looks like it won't go the way it did last time. Hmm. I guess flattery won't get us anywhere. It's no good. Shoma won't open up no matter what I bring up. He won't show us. Looks he like won't we show us his heart. The Orthodox method. That means we'll have to try our luck with his father. Oh, I thought you were going to say let's sync with them. Because I, I would have been down for that. Oh, God. Boy, I'm glad you invited me on the Ferris wheel, too. Thank what? you. Our objective is still to unlock Shoma's chastity belt. Tama! You're still going on with that? It would be tough to question Komeiji about tricky subjects if Shoma was nearby. That's why you invited him here, right? Yeah, but... Now that I think about it, we rode this Ferris wheel together two days ago. Well, Mr. Ryuki, it seems like your investigation is going around in circles. <laughs> so, uh, what is it you wanted to talk about? If you it's know, about the case, there isn't much else to say. You know, Ryu Ryuki, you could at least be nice and laugh. Why are you wearing your stage outfit when you're not performing today? Well, this is the only outfit I have right now. I actually have another set of personal clothes, but I ruined those two days ago. But this bow tie, it'll be fine as long as I have this. Isn't it nice? Shoma bought it for you, didn't he? That's right. Even if I only have one set of clothes, I can wear this or take it off depending on how I'm feeling and wow, it's as if I changed into a completely different outfit. Not really. Yeah. Oops, it would be terrible if I lost it, so I'd better put it back on. I like how we gotta cut away so that they don't this have to tie, do an intricate tying Shoma animation. Shoma chose it for me so I could really shine on stage. When I wear it, it feels like Shoma is cheering me on. It gives me strength. It's my most precious treasure. It makes my head even more square. I used to be a real big shot back when I was known as the Quiz King, remember? But I let it get to my head, and as soon as I became a comedian, things flipped completely. There was no hope for me to move up in the world. Got it, so his ego made his head swell into a cube. And, I, um, I, uh, <laughs> my wife got sick of me and left. I've been raising my boy alone ever since. Yeah, he's a real big shot. He got the Cromer for the for the head squaring operation. Spamton performed it himself. And yet. Do you regret becoming a comedian with a cube head? Not at all. I'm proud of being a comedian. Well, he's sweating. At the same time, I'm not proud of my lack of success. I've put Shoma through so much hardship. It's inexcusable. About Shoma's lie. After some careful consideration, I told Mr. Komeji that it's highly likely Shoma lied about the message hidden in Bats 490. Shoma lied? Yes. I see. I don't know much about that hidden message thing, but Shoma is a good boy. He wouldn't lie for no reason. I know that's not that convincing coming from his father, but he must have had a reason to lie. How can I get the truth from Shoma? I have no idea. I can't really talk to him right now myself. I'm sure you're aware, but I got in an argument with Shoma yesterday. What is that? Shoma made it for me when he was little, but yesterday he ripped it up and threw it away. It was really important to me. Hmm. I want to make up, but he... It must be difficult considering how things are now. It's all my fault. The argument only happened in the first place because of my lack of success. Huh. 
Come, Mr. Ryuki. There is something I'd like to talk to you about. What is it? No, never mind. Please forget it. What was that about? It sounded like you wanted to tell me something important. Hey, Ryuki. Why don't you try wink syncing with him? Yeah, I'll try taking a peek. If we try to go a normal Somnium with this dude, how would we fit the machine onto his head? We'll sink. Hey, asshole. I know you're in there. Deadline on the payment passed a long time ago. Cough it up, you bastard! Ah, it's the loan sharks again. A different set of guys came by yesterday and the day before that. I've been borrowing from so many different places, I don't know who's who anymore. Anyway, what time, am I time supposed to do? enter Squid to Game. Do? I can't talk to the police about it. That's Korean, not Japanese. Uh... So, he's borrowed money from a lot of people. Okay, I'm gonna say this. I loved Squid Game. I thought it was a great show with an awful last scene to it. And, uh... It I don't like how they're doing a season two. I felt like it was a one season, one and done type thing. I'll watch it, but uh, but let me tell you, social media for for that show has gotten so shitty. It's like single handedly killing interest in it. And then they're doing it for real. They're doing like a real version of it now with a four point five million dollar prize pool, and it's like you've just gutted half your animation most of your animation teams and are now using the money to fund this shit. must have been in real trouble if he even got involved with loan sharks. It's like, man, Netflix, just stop. Just stop being shitty. F finish up... Fin finish Stone Ocean, finish Stranger Things, and then please just go... go out... get out of here. Go bankrupt. <laughs> let, let other people get the licenses to all your crap. But why can't he talk to the police about it? Don't tell me. Supposedly, he has connection to the Yakuza. Word is, he's involved in some dangerous transactions. Wait, 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 huh? Kameji, you wouldn't happen to be struggling with... ...debt, would you? He must have been in real trouble if he got involved in loan sharks, but can't, why can't we talk to the police about it? Supposedly, he has a connection to the Yakuza. Oh. What? How did you... I knew it. That's what you wanted to tell me, right? Why can't you get the police involved? Is it because you're buying and selling on the black market? What are you talking about? I would never do something like that. I tried asking Kameji more questions, but no matter how much I questioned him, he didn't admit to any involvement with the Yakuza. In the end, in the end, I was unable to find any clues leading to the key to Shoma's heart. Alright, which one of these guys do I have to sync with? What? <laughs> Komeji murdered me for asking him questions. <laughs> Okay, look, right screen here. Noisy Croak. They worked on the music on this game. The people that did the, the music for Explorers of Sky and, and Darkness and Time. What the fuck? Why did that happen? 202. Oh man, we lost like nine minutes of progress there. Okay. Good thing I have the speed up. Uh, enabled and also that was auto sa it auto saved it auto saves whenever you enter a new room she said nyes isn't a religious group but this is clearly kuruto ryuki you're being demoted to a police officer tama as long as you're with me i can keep going start the music here to see me on stage perhaps i hate him Ugh. man well okay the auto save wasn't too bad it's auto-saved at the beginning of the section. That's good. 
Boy, I'm glad. All the water in the pond. Pull out poison, drink water. Water. Just kidding. It's all water E. This is the only outfit. That, that huh. head shake he was doing was great. Here. Where did that boy run off to? Yeah, having the skip function enabled is actually really good. So I'm just gonna keep that on. That. Yeah, this game also yeah, this game has autosave. It autosaves automatically whenever the scene transitions. But you can also manually save at any time if you need to stop. So thankfully you're never gonna lose too much progress. I think the worst of it is is if you're in a Somnium, because I don't think it saves between checkpoints. Or between locks. Maybe it does, I don't know. I'm sorry, mystery. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. I need to go find Shoma now, so well bye for now. Excuse me. Oh, you could speed up the Maybe transitions too. Huh. It's clear that they're both hiding something. Even if we chase them down and ask again, we'd get the same result. Yeah, no, we're not gonna have any Legends Arceus issues here. Though to be fair, Legends Arceus has auto-saving too, it's just that I turned it off because it's a Pokemon game, why would you keep auto-saving on? I guess we have no choice. Let's go somewhere else for now. Yeah, let's. We still haven't made up. Okay, so I, mean, I skipped one line by accident. Uh, talent agency Lemniscate. Lemniscate. Okay, so this is the first time we've been here, this game. Ah, Ryuki! We just finished recording! There's the, the, the receptionist with the the big the big assets the big robertsons there's a hidden ending in the olympus <laughs> there's a hidden ending in the first game where if you have date examine her like in the back cuz she's in the background if you have date try to talk to her like like every instance you could you see her they eventually run off and go on vacation together in the middle of the case and that and the game just ends it's just considered like an extra hidden ending Oh, good timing. But why are these two here? I just happen to be here by chance. Yeah, right. Me too. I'm here completely by coincidence. Why is it that everyone that likes Iris is short and much older than her? Okay, then. So, what is it you wanted to tell me about the case? Yeah, about that. Who, who the hell is that? Hmm? That person. Okay, she's barefoot, just walking in here. What? Talk about sketchy. Maybe someone from the talent agency? Ryuki, don't you recognize her? I don't know. I couldn't see their face, so it's hard to say. Seems dangerous, but I'll put my life on the line to protect Tess. I, I, I mean Iris. So I, I, don't I, I, worry. That was a that was a good stumble. That sounded like he was like dribbling water there. It was really good. Me too. After after everything these two did at the end of the last game, why they shouldn't be scared of shit. They they really stepped up. Like everyone in the game steps up at the very end, but Oda and Moma especially. I seem to remember Moma wielding a machine gun at one point. It's Ota. You, I just happened to be here. I just so happened to know Tessa's recording schedule, and I thought she might be thirsty after recording, so I got her a drink. In other words, he was waiting for her. Thanks for everything, Ota. <laughs> Fire! Hot, hot, Tessa! Shipping! Great, great, Tessa! Airplanes! Height, flight, Tessa! 
It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa! Also known as ASET! You bet! Ah, I've missed that. It's MoMA. He looks extremely out of place here. <laughs> He sticks out like a dragon, you could say. Call and response two. This is one of the call and response chants for Ace at Iris between her and her fans. Their magical chants that create a special kind of unity. I think Oda wears a shirt that says geek on it. Wait, how old is Oda? He's 24. And how old is MoMA? 48. And Iris is only 18. Kind of fucked. Then again, I guess ne my girlfriend and I are six years apart. But we also didn't start dating until I was in my 30s and she was in her mid-20s. So it's way, way different than a 24-year-old hitting on an 18-year-old. And this dude should just be ashamed of himself. He's fucking 48. It was a coincidence. I just happened to know Tessa's recording schedule. For some reason, Tess, I got a set's recording schedule happened to be in my PC. I figured it was a cyber attack by a rival gang, so I came here to scout things out just in case. Christ. That's a huge stretch. Christ, MoMA. He was probably just waiting for her. Thanks for everything, Mr. Kumakura. <laughs> Shopping! Cart, Mart, Tessa! Gaming! Fight! Sprite! Tessa! Account! Check! Collect! Tessa! It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa! Also known as ASET! You bet! I heard that painting is actually titled T-N-Y-E-O. It used to be called by another name. An incomprehensible abstract painting is on display. There was a big, there's like a big argument in the first game about what that painting is called. Well, there's a weird bug here. You're right. I've never seen it before. It's a plant. It's the company logo. It reads Lemniscate. There's a receptionist sitting behind the desk. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk. Oh god, we're literally doing the same joke, just with dialogue, with voice dialogue now. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting. There's a receptionist with huge breasts. Huge breasts. Breasts. There are huge breasts sitting behind the desk. What are you saying? It's receptionist. Yeah, that, that dialogue appears in the first game too if you examine her. A bunch, but it's Date just saying it to himself instead of Tama being a fucking creep about it. Let's go to Atami together. What? What are you talking about, Ryuki? N no, I was just suddenly overcome with an inexplicable urge to go to Atami. Forget the investigation. I'm going to Atami with her. I've already made up my mind. Don't try to stop me. Did you take crazy pills this morning or something? Yeah, this happened. This, again, this is a hidden ending in the first game. I'm wondering if this same shit happens now. Wait a minute. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? Ryuki, please. I have a bad feeling about this. Now. Let's go to Atami together! Uh, okay. Unbelievable. I took her hand and we ran out of Lemniscate, leaving Tama behind. He just forces his eyeball out. It's, it's the same fucking ending. Thus, the case cl came to a close without being resolved. Goodbye, life as a police officer. Hello, Atami, Shizuoka Prefecture. I began my new life as a staff member at an inn here in the Hot Spring District. The end. Complete. Performance result, destination Atami, end. Well, that's it. I beat the game.
I love that there's you get an achievement for doing that too. Damn it, I keep hitting R on there thinking it'll flip pages and it goes to another screen entirely. You missed me so much. I can see it in your face. How do you do, Tama? A little annoyed, frankly. What are, what are, okay, new scenes, yeah, yeah. I'll dress up the way Body? You... Wait, what? Cat hands and tail. Purr, purr. Sure, why not? Purr, purr. What we got for the outfit now that's new? Mermaid outfit. Welcome home, Sea King. How about we make out? Sea King! Oil paintings, oil paintings, oil paintings! Shark movies! Meow, meow. There. Cat body with, with, or cat everything with a mermaid costume. Destination a Tommy end. Go to a Tommy with a receptionist. Yuki Chapter 3. Does give me a star, so it was worth getting. In the first game, it did nothing, because the amount of endings you had didn't affect anything. Call and response. This is one of the call and response chants that Iris creates a special kind of unity. Menu, story branching. In this game, the story branches in the Somnia from the flowchart, you can jump to a branching Somnia to find a different route in the game. I don't know why it gave me that one now. Maybe it's because I te technically just got an ending. Alright, we had our fun. Uh. Oh, did I quit by accident? Shit. No, I didn't. Okay. That was weird. There's a recep- There's a receptionist- There- It's okay. You don't have to say it. You wanna rub these soft things, don't you? Mm. No, I wasn't- Oh, fine. Just for a bit, okay? Here you go. Moved over to the reception desk and began vib vigorously rubbing both of her earlobes. <sighs> this is too hot for TV. They were softer than I expected. Are you okay? What are you doing? I'm turned to where I was. I was looking at me as though I was the scum of the earth. Wow, what a total hottie. What? Oh, this is perfect. I was just starting to get bored. Come on, let's have a chat, cutie. A little tete-a-tete. -tete. Sorry, I have no idea what you're saying. Oh, and your voice is super mega hot, too. Hottie for a thotty. Slide into my DMs anytime, King. Oh, um, no. I'm here to ask some Someone's being horny on main. Investigation. Wait, you're with the police? Are you friends with Date by any chance? Yeah. He's my superior. I went to a Tommy oh once God. with him. It's such a small world. Crazy. Why is this woman a receptionist? Likely a decision made by the company president. 
Mizuki? <laughs> yeah, Mizuki is technically the president. What are you talking about? No, I was just suddenly over... It's Iris. She finished recording, but she doesn't look tired at all. She's truly a professional. Maybe I'll put a monitor that big in our office, too. What would you watch? Obviously, Tess... Test, t t testicle, testicle videos. Yeah, testicle videos. That sounds really icky, Moma. Uh. Promotional videos of the talent from the agency you're playing. So he's gonna be watching CBT porn in his office. Got it. There's magazines displayed in the magazine. Special rack. feature: useful ways to tie a rope. Huh. Ryuki, steal it from me later. Nice high table. N not you too, Ryuki. Well, okay. If you think I have nice thighs, then... W wait, what did you think I said? So as you're saying that backwards, it's fa so. Weirdo wearing a mask and a weird outfit is looking at this way weirdly. Can I help you? Are you going to shoot? Are you going to a shoot? Your mask is upside down. Look, a wooden pony. <gasps> What does he want to tell me, Iris? Two days ago, we were talking about the people who went missing after seeing Bats 490. Well, the same thing started happening with the people who saw the QR code video. What? I read about it online this morning. Many people have gone missing since seeing that video. Rumors say that the missing people are being rounded up in one location, and they're all getting murdered. Murdered? You there. Is what you just said true? Huh? Y yeah Who the hell are you? Don't get one step closer! Th that's right! What are you trying to do to Tessa? Sorry to bother you. So walking around with your f bare foot in and February, freeze your feet what off. What's that all about? Especially in Japan. I heard it's pretty cold in there during the winter. Japan's a very temperate place. Um, about our discussion. Oh, right. Did someone you know go missing or something? No, it's not that. It's just a rumor I found online. But he. Tama, how many people have gone missing lately? About 1,700 people have gone missing this week. It isn't particularly higher than usual. Hmm. There's something paranormal going on in the HB case after all. Half a corpse teleporting from another world. We've said that many times. After watching a video, there has to be some sort of end up being true, isn't it? Happening. I agree with Tessa. The occult are involved with the HB case for sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Nice is a part of all of this, right? Where did you hear that? It's all over the internet. Nice is a big proponent of the simulation theory. Oh, and I didn't know this a few months ago. I learned all this recently. If you think about that theory being correct, then the case makes a lot more sense. After all, we are living in nothing but a simulation. Mm -mm. And such programs always have some glitches lurking under the surface. Coincidences like this are a manifestation of such glitches. Proof of imperfection. Proof of the scenes. It's like deja vu in the Matrix. That's simulation theory. The simulation theory is probably true. There's even proof. Proof? 
Take a look at this. Lord applauded several photos from his pocket and handed them to me. Doesn't this remind you of something? Like those nameless mob characters that show up in video games. You know they reuse assets to lower production costs. No. This is probably just some sort of coincidence. Like some synchronicity type thing? But there's more photographic proof. Hold on a sec. My Tamagotchi needs... What do you think of mermaids? Cute, slimy, pretty, get excited. Get excited. It's better than getting excited over a dolly. Evolved to Soe. Wait, like Sosajima? I became an adulty. Thanks for talking to, some, to me so muchy. An adult who handles craziness and love well. No one can beat them when it comes to cunning and flirtation. Loves having power and authority. Yeah, that's supposed to be Sosajima from the first game. I wonder if he's going to show up in this game. Alright. Out of here. Babu. Why was I born in this world? Shut up. I'm angry, E. I'm going to bear your child, E. What? Hottie. The receptionist uses the term hottie to refer to anyone she finds hot. It's pretty simple if you think about it. Tete a tete. Tete a tete is a private conversation. It's funny because it also sounds like tit a tit. Oh, that's a sequel to Live Alive. Tit a tit. Come on. A way to get attention from someone. Okay. Super mega. Used to represent something enormous. Wow, it's super mega big. Thotty. Do you really want me to explain this one? A thotty never gets cold. Oh my god. A phrase used to show heart-throbbing excitement. They're coming out with a sequel? Oh my god. Hottie, hottie, boom, balati. Now with more booba, yeah. What do you think? I'm no expert on paranormal and occult stuff, but I know one thing for sure, so I gotta warn you. You should back out of this investigation. <laughs> what do you mean? For you know it's good for you, buddy. I don't know much about that nice group, but there's definitely a real dangerous organization involved in all this. If you get too deep, you might end up dead. Word's spreading in the underground. If the cops investigate any further, they'll make them disappear. Seems like the rich and powerful from all over the world are involved in this too. You piss them off, who knows what they'll do to you. Rich and powerful? Could Mr. Sachima be involved in this too? Uh, Sachima? Wow. You mean the former politician guy? Yes, so Sachima. Oh, but don't worry about it. I just saw him recently, so he popped in my head is all. Wait, you met with So? Yeah. Why? Because he invited me to his house. For what reason? He said he happened upon my videos online and thought they were interesting or something like that. Are you okay? He didn't do anything, did he? Not at all. We just talked for a bit. Iris doesn't know So Sejima is her father. Okay, you just flat out said what I was going to say. <laughs> After the new Cyclops serial killing, Sosajima's life as a politician ended. However, what So did wasn't technically illegal, so he hasn't been arrested or charged, and he still has tons of money. So he may not be a politician anymore, but he still holds tons of power. Yes, Iris, I, I, it, the, one of the big plot points in the first game that you uncover is that uh, Sosajima had an, aff had, had an affair, essentially, because uh, he was married. He had, he had an affair with the, with the mistress who just happened to be Iris's mother. And then Iris's mother was, I believe, murdered by the new Cyclops serial killer afterwards. 
or someone else, I'm not sure. It might have been the new Cyclops here, Kill, which, by the way, again, spoilers for the first game, it ends up being Sosajima's uh, son, Saito, who is actually the body that Date was in for most of the first game, which is actually the body he's disguised as now for some reason. But yeah, Sosajima, even though he's like 60-something years old, is technically, is bio biologically Iris' father. She does not know that, though, because she was put up for adoption. Sorry, I'm quiet. I've been drawing on my hands. I have a drawing on your hands. I haven't bothered quite fit up with your settings in your art program, so it's taking quite some time to fix. Wow, good job, you. Hey, no, it's okay. Like I said yesterday, uh, my mom gave me. My mom got me a stream deck for my birthday, uh, and I am not even gonna bother setting that up until I get back from my vacation. Because as much as cool as it is, I'm just like I don't have the time to set things up in there right now. Because the only other time I'm gonna be able to stream is tomorrow. So either I skip streaming tomorrow to set it up and then not use it for a week, or I just stream tomorrow and then set it up next week. In fact, I think what I might do next week is I might do a stream at some point just of me setting the stream deck up, and I can have, like, you and other people, like, tell me what you want to see on it. So I can set up some quick hotkeys or something. Gungaga, yes, I will... Gungaga is definitely going on there. Gungaga, um... Polish Water Ice might go on there, too. The splat noise. Anything that any noise that I used in that con in that Pax East video, I might put in there. Gungaga is definitely going in there. Uh, and here we are is another one I would like to have at any point. I haven't found a good recording of and here we are to put on there. But yeah, anyway, uh, Sosajima is Iris's father, and apparently Ryuki knows that already. Or the fact that he was involved in the murder of her real mother, Monica. Yeah, the people around her have been protecting her from that information. Fortunately, Iris doesn't really watch the news, either. But in any case, the media hasn't found out Iris is Monica's father. Which is funny, because Monica uh, looks exactly like Iris. She, she looks like it... Like, Date thought when, she, when he saw, saw Monica's uh, body in the first game, because she was frozen, so her body was preserved, uh, he thought it was Iris the whole time. How about, oh, give me a break. Oh, I don't know which one that is. Synchronicity? Wait, hold on. Can I wink sync with her? Oh my god. Wait a minute. I gotta do this. Hi. I heard the hibernation diet works, so I gave it a try. I've been sleeping all the time. But it's not working at all. I've actually gained more weight. What? You mean it's more than just sleeping, breathing techniques? What? Ugh. That sounds like a pain in the butt. Okay, nothing gained from that. I'm wondering if there's an achievement for wink syncing with every character, meaning I'd have to like load this four times and do it over and over. Clearly, uh, wink syncing was not needed here. If it's giving me a choice of who to do it with, it's about the other folks. I still think it's a coincidence after seeing this. If you consider this stuff that can't be explained by science as a glitch in the simulated world, it can't be. Calm down, Ryuki. These are obviously doctored photos. Yeah, you're right. So let's see, what do we got here? We got a car with a tree growing out of it. That the, the, But the top of the car also looks like it's been busted through. So it doesn't look like that tree was, like, spawned there. It looks like the tree busts through the top of it. Uh, we have a cloud that's, like, shaping a perfect square. Square clued! The, the, it's it's clue the square the cloud manipulator. He turned it into a square clued. And uh, I don't know what this is. Is it some sort of giant object, mysteriously appearing in the sky? Uh, whatever. There's one for the soundboard. The square clued. Synchronicity. In a nutshell, they're basically meaningful coincidences. <laughs> For example, when you talk about someone and they just so happen to show up in front of you. Or when you hear the same word over and over from a bunch of different people. Oh, that happens all that the time. Kind of synchronicity. It's supposed to mean that there's a message behind it. A message from who? Well, someone. Or something. 
about the paranormal and simulation theory. I just thought of something listening to Ota. You can explain any paranormal phenomenon using the simulation theory. UFOs, Umas, ghosts, superpowers. Okay, I'm gonna load this. I hope it's not too loud. Give me a break, Pepper. What the fuck is... Is this some annoying orange shit? Hold on. That is pretty good. Chinese neck man sit what the fuck? Okay, I'm not- no, I'm not clicking that. I'm not clicking that. I don't know who the Chinese neck man is, but I'm, I'm sure he's a good person. If this world is a simulation, they'd all be possible. Yeah, whether it's a glitch or alterations made on purpose, whatever it is, would all make sense. Now, let's get going. For all that talking we did, we didn't get much useful information here. Yeah, but something has been bothering me. I'll keep what I heard here in mind, just in case. Hmm. Wait, we got more places to go to, huh? All right, well, let's go to Marble, since that was the last spot for now. And then we'll go back to the other two spots. I'm also not going to stream way too much longer tonight. If I go for another... If I go for three hours total, it's going to be 3.45. I really am only... want to get... Close this off by 3.30 tonight, at the latest. Uh, just because I want to make sure I'm, I'm in bed and able to wake up in time for the uh, Direct tomorrow. Gen's here. And, uh, what's-her-name is behind him. Ryuki, honey, welcome. It's been so long. Sorry, Mama, but I'm not here as a customer today. What is she into fortune telling now? Is it a coincidence she's just rubbing, happened rubbing two crystal balls? I was wondering if you knew anything about the case. Do you mean the HB case? Yeah. Mame and Gen are here. But they're acting strange. They're both quiet, turned away from each other. There are bottles and glasses on the shelves. That's a suspicious book. The spine says anyone can become a necromancer. Beer tap. Ryuki, you ever do stuff on a bar counter before? Like what? Do you know? Something that starts with S. Sleep? Yeah. I don't think so. Really? Well, I've served customers here before. Wow. There are bottles lined up on the counter. Let's count how many there are. Did you count the number of bottles? Uh, there are nine. But nothing happens. What a waste of time! It's a menu. There's writing all over the back. There are two crystal balls on top of the counter. Table in front of the sofa. It's a sofa. Menu's written on the black. Specialty board. socks. No double dipping. Huh. What? Oh, hey, Ryoko. What groovy mystery are you solving today? Uh, the half body mysteries. Or HB case. Postal. Entrance exam pajama paradance. It's like, a movie about crashing an entrance exam in pajamas and doing the para para dance. Oh my god! I gotta show that to Jess later. Cause he's gonna freak when I shows him that. There's an occult poster on the wall. Flyer on the wall. I'm a fly. Why does the player character have a Sharon gun? Uh, their eye is replaced with the fake eye. They get, they purposely got their left eye removed and put this uh, smart AI eye on there, which uh, which looks like a sexy lady. I think it's wonderful that you're talking about it. Here, I'll show you. 
I'll show you what she looks like. Though I have in her costume right now. Worried about school? Yeah, there you go. That's right. Ah. Worried about education? Class is too easy. Who cares about studying? Not so. Worried about your future? Parents would accept what I do. Your first step will decide your path. I want to follow my dreams. Yeah. Mmm. I think that's a good thing. I'll be rooting for you. Don't say things like, My dreams will come true if I try hard enough. It's okay to fail. It's not a big deal. You can restart your life many times. And as long as you follow your dreams, you can find a job related to it. Let's say you wanted to become an astronaut. It might be hard to become one, but... You might be able to find a job as an operator or a mechanic or something. If that's too hard, maybe you can make spaceship parts or astronaut food. You might be able to become a doctor who dissects an alien. The reason astronauts can go to space is because those guys exist. Don't you think it's a job worth doing? I guess. I mean, unless you're in it for the, for the glory. In that case... Tama, what have you been into lately? Tama, what have you been into lately? I'm always into you, Ryuki. Physically. Yeah, I mean, she's not wrong. Well, since I'm here, I might as well open the files again. Persons. Masked woman, reception. Oh, I got the masked woman. Mama's not here yet, though. I guess I haven't talked to her. Masked woman. Woman, probably. Age, birthday, profession, likes, dislikes, hobbies, skills, unknown. Mysterious person appears to be female based on the body shape. Receptionist. Ritsuko Enshu. I don't think she got a name in the first game. Sex, female, age 36, birthday, 22nd of June. Profession, receptionist at Lemmiskate. Likes yellow spotted river turtles and a Tommy. It's like men that act like ballers but are really scrubs. Hobbies. Slots are the way to go, baby. Skills. Anti-aging techniques. Overview. The receptionist at Lemniscate. She loves a man with a deep, gravelly voice, you know? She's totally in love with that shiz. Kinda has an upset stomach lately, which sucks. Hello, Cleavage. Yep. It's a stool. There's something else here. Picture. It's a painting that's been up since the bar opened. It was supposedly a gift from a regular here. Painting up on the wall. Ryuki, want to see a video of naked men hugging each other in the dirt? Yeah, maybe? Oh, yes, please. It's just a sumo video. TV set on the wall. It's Mama. She's lovingly, pol lovingly polishing two crystal balls. Mama. I've been wondering this for a long time. Who are you really, Mama? Me? <laughs> I'm just your ordinary, everyday, homoerotic connoisseur. Hmm. About the case. Well, here's what I know. Ask Mama what she knows about the case. But unfortunately, there wasn't any new or useful information. I'm sorry I couldn't help you this time. No, it's fine. Just typical detective work. Gotta earn my pay. Even though you're rich. Crystal balls? Is that a crystal ball? Yes! These are my big milky balls. Milky. Balls? Mama Milky. Oh, but I'm not talking about testicles, honey. Yeah, I know. I started telling fortunes as a side business, and believe it or not, I actually gained the ability to hear them. Voices from other dimensions. Uh, other dimensions? Yes. One day, I was suddenly gifted with the power. I suppose it's more accurate to call it a seance than fortune telling. They both sound pretty fishy. You're hmm. just going to pretend you're hearing voices, aren't you? No, I'm completely serious. 
I mean, I don't even remember what happens while hearing the voices. Oh, why don't we give it a try? I could ask about the HB case. You might believe me if you see it in person. No, it's okay. No, no let her do it. So modest. It'll be free of charge. Yes, we can. We'll come back to that. It's mommy. She's facing away with an annoyed look on her face. Oh. What happened? Are you upset? Ah, sumo wrestler. Who are you calling a sumo wrestler? It's again, he's facing away and there's tension in the air. Excuse me. Are you upset? What happened? Ah, a force nymph. Huh? Where? Okay. Our work here is done. Seance time, please. Then let me ask the milky balls. Can you stop calling them that? Oh, great set of balls. Who is the most beautiful in all the land? Tom is getting her just desserts that for all her sex jokes. Mama, of course. Oh my, <laughs> you flatterer. <laughs> That's not even what I wanted to ask. And the answer is completely wrong. That was just a joke. I figured. Ahem. Now, let's try this for real. Oh, this is a Switch game. Didn't even realize the friend pop up. Yeah. Most of my streaming is done from the Switch. When was the last? What was the last non-Switch game I played on stream? At this point, I don't think I've played a non-Switch game since that one day I tried doing Rhythm Heaven uh, on on the Game Boy Advance emulator. And then Lunar Nights before that. My backlog's just been so big that it's like... Why did... Wait, was auto on? Why was it moving then? Oh, great set of milky white balls. I need you to give me some clues for an investigation. One after another, victims have been torn in half in these half-body murders. Where can we find the key to exposing the culprit? Face. A hidden face. But... The true face, as yet unrevealed to all. That is where the answer is hidden. True face, huh? Uh, again, maybe remove that. I want to see something real quick. What capture card do I use? Uh, I use an Elgato. What is it? HD 60S. It is quite outdated. It was outdated when I bought it. There's better ones out there. You can't even get this model anymore without paying extra for it. Uh, and it doesn't work perfectly. There's a lot of issues I have with it. If it breaks, I'm going to have to get a new one at some point. And it's definitely not worked perfectly at times. Um... I want to see something here. Where's Gen? Age unknown. All right. I was thinking maybe he's the kid that ran away from the orphanage. Huh? Did I just say something? I told you I black out during these seances. Don't remember a thing. What kind of Tsukomi do you like? That doesn't exist. You don't have one? About the hidden face. Let's see. The first thing that comes to mind is... Gen's face hidden under his mask. But he's sensitive about it. It's not something I can just ask. Yeah, and it's hard to say if this is really related to the case or not. The only other thing I can think of is... Ah! Jin Furaway! Huh? It might also apply to Jin. But Jin's face is well known. Yeah, it's not like he hides it. It's true it. that photos of his face have been all over the place. But he's never actually gone out in public in person. Not even once? Not even once. It's not because he's shy, is it? If that were the case, his photos wouldn't be out there either. I've heard he's an extreme narcissist. He circulates all those pictures himself. 
you talk about him as if he's still alive. By the way, Mama, what's up with those two? Well, the thing is, they had a bit of a differing of opinion. What do you mean? No, Mama, the problem is Guinea's total lack of common sense. My lack of common sense? Are you sure you're not talking about yourself? You sound like a stupid person right now. What? You're the one who sounds stupid. You probably couldn't even beat the first question of the All-American Ultra Quiz. W wait wait what is this argument even about? Well, we're having a disagreement. All right, you jerk. Why don't we get a neutral third party and ask them? <laughs> that's what happened. So we came to Marble to get Mama's opinion, and that's where we're at. But when I gave my input, it only made things more complicated. What's wrong? I know. Now that Ryuki's here, let's see what he thinks. Yeah, then we'll know for sure who's right. So, question time. But in doubt, they actually did uh -huh. it. What's the name of the island where the Statue of Liberty in New York is located? Uh, am I? What? Do I have to input that? Ellis Island. That's right. You too? Are you serious? That's ridiculous. It can't be. The Statue of Liberty is definitely on Liberty Island. No, it's not. No, it's true that the Statue of Liberty is on Ellis Island. I mean, there's no such thing as Liberty Island. No, there anywhere. isn't. I live right next to New York City. I don't believe City. this. <laughs> Something is off here. Tama, what do you think? Of course it's Ellis Island. This is common knowledge. Look, I just looked it up online. Now do you see? Maybe it was the called Liberty Island Liberty at one is point. located on Ellis Island. As you can see here, there's no such island as Liberty Island. I'm sorry, Gen. Mame is right. Impossible. Whoa. See? You see what happened there? Like, the camera like, glitched. In the end, the word stupid is a huge insult and does quite have some power. Yeah. Anyway, they've been butting heads about the location of the Statue of Liberty this whole time. But it looks like they finally came to a conclusion. But it's not a debate. It's just straight up on El... <sighs> God damn it. I see. If you all say so, I must be the one who's wrong. I'm sorry, Amame. I was mistaken. As long as you understand now, that's good enough for me. You have smartphones. You could just looked it up. Everyone makes mistakes. Now. I need to get to work soon, so I'm heading out. I'll stick around for a bit longer. Okay. Then I'll see you three later. But he is right? No, what he's about not your right. Restaurant, Gen? He's not right. He thought it was Liberty Island. There's no such thing as Liberty Island. It's at the Statue of Liberty's on Ellis Island. I've been there before. <laughs> I, I live less than an hour away from it. Well, I guess about an hour by train, but whatever. I closed up shop for the day. I couldn't acquire any ingredients I was satisfied with. Really? Closed for a reason like that? It's really important to me. It would be rude to serve mediocre dishes to my customers. I think I'll go to the it warehouse to look at the harbor after this. I thought I could watch the waves and think up new dishes. It's Mama. She's lovingly polished, lovingly polishing two crystal balls. It's Gen. Can't see his face with the mask on, but he seems a bit down. Mama and I go way back. There are times when we have arguments over little things, like you saw earlier. Turn auto back We're on. basically family at this point. So, if anything ever happened to her, I would do everything I could to help. I believe that I have to protect her, no matter what. What if Matsushita Diner takes your customers? I'm not worried about that in the slightest. Ota from Matsushita Diner doesn't understand the first thing about the true essence of cooking. To the warehouse district at the harbor? Yes, I love that place. I can watch the ocean in silence with no one around. I find it very soothing. For some reason, Date seems to go there often as well. Hmm. Then what is this?
Oh, wait a minute. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Did, I, did we just... Did, we, did, we just got Berenstain Bear, didn't we? Fuck. Wow, now I'm gonna look like an idiot. Alright, I have to cut this entire part out when I upload to YouTube. But wait, why did... Huh? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 but why did Thomas say there was no such thing as Liberty Island? What is going on here? What the fuck is happening? Ellis Island is where the immigrants go to, yeah. I thought that was the same place. No, it's not, is it? This game- okay, look, this game literally did the exact thing that we- we said it was going- it's- fuck. God damn it. God damn it. Stupid. Fucking God, fuck! I'm well. You know what? For once, I'm glad I'm not a popular streamer, and and YouTuber. Because if if people witness this, yeah, it's the immigration inspection point. Wait, but, but why did Thomas say there was no such place as Liberty Island? Not Mr. Date. I have been very close with Date for some time. He often stops by Brahmin before coming here to drink. I trust him. There are only three people who weren't afraid of me the first time they saw me. Date, Amame, and Leon. You know Leon too? Yes, he's a regular at Brahman as well. Leon just mm -hmm. wandered in one day while Date was there. They hit it off right away and had quite a lively discussion. So wait, Leon knows I Date? I joined them after closing up for the day, and the three of us drank until morning. Huh, that's an interesting group. I can't imagine what you three would talk about. Probably porno mags or something. What are they, teenagers? Oh, uh, we talked a lot about porno mags. <laughs> About your mask. Putting Date, Amame, and Leon aside, my appearance makes most people uncomfortable. But if I didn't wear this mask, I would scare them even more. If I recall, your face has a congenital condition. Yes. Would you like to see? What? My face. Yes, yes, yes. No, you don't have to if you don't want to. Not that I'm trying to avoid it or anything. I said that, but to be honest, part of me wanted to see. Not out of curiosity, but because of Mama's words from earlier. Face. A hidden face. The true face. As yet unrevealed to all. That is where the answer is hidden. We literally just did this. Again, I can't see his face with the mask on, but he seems a bit down. Oh, Link sink her real quick. I gained the ability to hear voices from people in other dimensions. Mama, you're always so beautiful. Oh, oh my, you flatterer. Hallucinations, maybe? A manifestation of her repressed desires. But it felt different the second time she did it, when she mentioned the thing about hidden faces. Bottles and glasses on the shelves, I'm not happy right now. Why, why am I able to re-examine everything? I don't believe it. Oh my god. Clearly see Gen's skull. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty messed up. But it didn't seem like the answer to solving the case was hidden there.
No point in staying here much longer. Yes, let's move on. Well, again, Mama, I'll be going now. Very well. Please take care. Stop by to get a break from work every once in a while. I got baited so fucking hard. You didn't get anything useful for the case. There are some things that I've been thinking about, though. The biggest one being... There's still places we haven't gone to yet. The goal was to get inside the hidden room inside Oradori Institute. But in the end, we didn't find anything. A hidden room inside Horidori Institute? We have to look into this, after hearing about something like that. Well, I suppose so. So... Alright, our next destination is? Yeah. Horidori Institute. Horidori Institute. I got it from the Institute! The Institute! 6.20pm. It's about when I finish eating dinner. February 15th. 13th. The robots are still working. No one here. It's past business hours, so they probably all left. But the lights are on. Maybe someone forgot to turn them off? The entrance wasn't locked, too. I think someone forgot to lock it. There weren't any guards around. You must be on vacation. No, oh, fine. I'm sorry, okay? Yes, you're right. Something is clearly wrong. It's as if someone is inviting us inside. A trap, maybe? For who? And why? No one could have known we were coming here. Then maybe it's for welcoming someone other than us. Who's there? Ryuki, living organism detected. They're alone. They must be hiding somewhere. I don't see anyone hiding. There you are. It's come His skull is actually a square. It is- oh my god. That is his head. What the fuck? Hey! I know you're there! Come on out! What the- He is, he's an actual cube head. I'm gonna feel bad now if this is like because of a disease or something. Just like Gen. Kameji. What is he doing here? Komeji, he's averting his eyes in shame. Did you unlock the entrance? Did you find Shoma? Why are you here? What do you mean? It was unlocked when I got here. Who knows? I don't even know myself. Before I knew it, I found myself here. Maybe my brain is messed up from all the drinking. He's clearly lying. He's obviously hiding the real reason he's here. Now, how to make him talk? He may be hiding something on his person. Let's find out. Uh, yes. I think he's at home right now. <sighs> he's got a gun. Is that... Why does he have that? Kameji. What are you hiding in your pocket there? I... I don't know what you're talking about. It's no use trying to hide it. What you have there, it's a pistol, isn't it? Kameji, can you please tell me what's going on? <laughs> Little gremlin of a man. It's 
Someone's gonna die calling it now. I don't think so. What's going on here? I need answers. But he's completely hysterical. Sorry, this is kind of funny. Well, it is. They were like running in slow motion. We can't win sync either. We're only left with one choice. Ryuki, sync with him. For real. Okay, but do we have the means to bring him to Abyss? I guess we do. February 13th, Wednesday, 7.10pm. I don't think we're going to be able to do this tonight. Okay, let me ask you again. Do you have boss's permission for this? Alright, I think I get the picture. I get the picture under Komeiji was in Horadori Institute for some reason. And he even had a gun on him. <laughs> I've, I've been there before. A couple months ago, actually. I went to prison. So, you want to find out why? That's right. Okay. The preparations are complete. Let's get right to it, then. <sighs> Ryuki, I'm sure you already know this. The time limit inside Somnium is... Six minutes. I know. Okay. Then let's begin. is extremely painful and a man can't handle the pain. One day, a genius scientist created a device that could share the pain of giving birth with the father. His first test subject was his wife. His wife was about to give birth, so he decided to try out the device. But for some reason, he felt no pain. Something wrong with the equipment? He upped the power to 10%, then 20%, until he reached 100%, right when she gave birth. And right after that, his assistant right next to him dropped dead from pain. Tama, 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 hot tamale! Kring. Well, what's the result? Fail! Three, three. Too bad. No grand champion for you. Oh, uh, why? That wasn't funny at all. I think you're more suited for an assistant director position. Hey, assistant directors are the directors of the future. Don't underestimate me. Andy's Komeiji, on the street. Shut up. What is it now? Oh, Komeiji? Let's go. Today we'll be walking around an area that's truly memorable to me. There just aren't rooftop amusement parks like this anymore, you know? I mean, there aren't in general Walk outside of Japan. Walk around comedy show with Andy's Komeiji. I didn't know he was on one of those. He isn't. This is just his dream. Dream in both senses of the word. It's his dream to have a show like this. Hmm. It's kind of pathetic. Tama, what are you holding in your hand? Hmm, what is this? A sketchbook? Well, anyway, we will, uh... Komeiji's stumbling over his words. The sketchbook is a cue card. Tama, you're an assistant director now. You should send him a message using the cue card. This calls for... Say something funny. You say something right funny, Vinny. <sighs> I never intended on being an assistant director. That's fine. Andy's cube sauce. Say something funny? What do you mean? Speak up. What does that mean? 
That's... What's going on? Ryuki, we need to do our thing. Right. Do it, Tama. Somnium scan, activate! Oh, there's two mental locked through? Oh, this is a branching path. Oh, wait a minute. How many branches are there here? Find out what Andy's Komeji is hiding. In this world inundated with Yo Yoneharu's ideals. Find out the truth and get the information he's hiding. Let's start there. If we're gonna talk about Andy's Komeji, we can't miss that place. Let's follow him. Okay, then. It's my show, so I go about how I go about from the next location so the staff knows where it is. Then the crew chases me. What would you do if you got questioned by the police? Run, play off, complain, accept. Run. That's the worst thing you could do, Ian. You're gonna get caughty. Ota E. Wow, I got all three of the children without even trying. Mischievous and cocky child. Otaku who visits Akiba every day. Kind of pretentious and loves Irisy. Nice. So I'll already I'll have all but four of the uh, evolutions after this. Guess I have to look up this game. What's on sale from Steam? Uh, the uh, Spike Chunsoft's games go on sale a lot, a lot. So by the end of the year, you'd probably be able to get this in the original. In fact, you should probably be. I wonder if the original is on sale right now. It might be. I definitely recommend playing the original on Steam, just because the Switch version of it is not great. The original Somnium Files is on sale for eight bucks right now, down from forty. Moma Mama. Name Osamu Oishi. Sex neutral. Uh, age 36. Oh, she's only one year older than I am. Birthday, October 11th. Profession. Bar back informant fortune teller. Likes loincloths, Bali Riva, sword fighting. Dislikes hate crimes, customers who puke in the bar. Hobby, shining her crystal ball, watching her Hira Oka's promotional video. Skills, fortune telling, guessing how big a guy is. The owner of a bar named Marble and Golden Yoko Cho. She knows a lot of information, even criminal or darker facts. Recently picked up fortune telling and has received some praise for her accuracy. Was I looking up? Oh. Timeline. There's only one path here, so why is there- why are there two locks? Next objective. Next. Fans are important to Kameji. I guess this is an entry gate. It's really cheaply made. And it's pretty old. Is there anything strange about it? Maybe any signs of people breaking in? We'll see if I could do this. We'll Because uh, I really wanted to stop within the next 10 minutes. I don't think this is going to end in 10 minutes, though. I don't see anything. I see. Searching it now won't make anything happen. It's one of those mini trains that runs along the railroad. Adults can write it too. Though it would be embarrassing for most adults. I'm sure it's for riding along with your kid. But if you have the heart of a child, you can do it. I left my boyhood heart in the past. Along with my tidy whities Is that why you wear loincloths now? I don't wear loincloths. Yet. Yet? <laughs> I thought Tama was the pervert.
There's some vending machines with simple snacks and drinks, and seats to rest. Back in the day, at bullet train stops in the country, this kind of rest area was common. If the great Andy's Komeji showed up here, it would fill up with people wanting his autograph. But there's nothing we can do here now. Kapcho, on! It's an older shooting game. So no zombies? It's like a clay target shooting simulator. I wonder if Komeji is good at this. Mm, I can't picture him being coordinated enough for it. I bet he's just watching other people do it. Yeah, that's a good point. Anyway, there's nothing we can do here. Wandering around probably isn't smart. Just looking for eyeballs that I don't need. A small Ferris wheel for a rooftop amusement park. I wonder if this Ferris wheel is the main attraction. I feel like it's maintained better than the other attractions. Maybe it just looks like that because Komeji thinks fondly of it, which means there must be something here. And that's what I thought too, but there's nothing so far. Ryuki, you have five minutes left. Oof, already, already down a minute here. He's got a good amount of fans. Oh, well, hello, hello! Komeji is back on stage! So, for the first time in a while, I want to show you a skit. Assistant Director Tama, show the cue card again. Got it. Quiz, super funny gag, bring audience up on stage. Quiz gets a timey, so... Let's turn our square head circle, it's quiz time! Who is the comedian who's good at super funny gags and is on a roll right now? It's me! Ooh. <laughs> That's not even a joke, Tama! I want to become a blank, and Kaminu doesn't refuse blank and blank. Oh, well, hello. So, for the first time. Super funny gag. Don't you all want to hear a certain something? God of energy, Inti, Inti, Pachaka Max! Uh -oh. Hey, lady, you're gonna get tired standing there. There's an open seat right in the front row. Not only can you take a load off, you can watch my super funny skit. Oh, um, okay. Hmm. <sighs> I get one show a month and only get 5,000 yen. When we saw him in person, there weren't too many people watching him. But why not? He's funny. Okay, but in any case, never really had a big audience. So something can trigger a flashback. The trigger is... Now that I've shared my roots, let's head over there. Komiji is on the move. Get after him. Oh, okay. I should just follow him then. I've already worked for five minutes. It's time for a break. Oh, too early for a break? Meiji's older, so he gets tired quick. He's just joking. You shouldn't take him seriously. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing with the marker in your hand? Let's show him a cue card. Tease the amateur autograph. You look like you want an autograph. All right, all right. So, where do you want me to sign this? The co-signee section? Yes, yes. No worries. Anything for a friend. Oh, it's But alone. I do have a family to think about, so you better not ditch me. Uh-oh. I said you better not ditch me. <laughs> Give an autograph. Oh, there is multiple routes here. Uh, 
So that means there's multiple timelines we could go down here. What does Komeji want the most? What does Komeji want to protect? Komeji became a co-signee and took on someone's debt. What an idiot. Of course they'd take off on him. But hey, now we know how to trigger these flashbacks. Yeah, the cue has to link to the memory of his past. All right, let's keep going. He's on the move again. Want to become a blank comedian, doesn't refuse autographs and blanks with fans in a fun way. Actually sell balloons here. When's the last time you paid for a balloon? That's a good point. Don't agree with him. Give him a cue. Buy balloons, inflate balloons, fly with balloons. Anyway, they're gonna let me make a balloon today. So, can I give it a shot? Dead. Interest? My dad isn't getting any smaller. Wait, was that the right choice? Wow. What is a blacklist? I, I can't borrow any more money? Where can I get more money? Uh-oh. You let me borrow money? Really? Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. The debt got bigger and bigger, and he couldn't borrow any more money from regular lending companies. Ah, the debt balloon. That's why he started borrowing from shady people. That makes hey, sense. Who is that over there? Who could it be? Uh, do we have a guest today? Tama, the person standing there is... Is this the same scene we saw at the beginning of the Somnium? We couldn't hear then, but I wonder if we can hear this time. Yeah. I become an open-hearted comedian who doesn't refuse autographs and interacts with fans in a fun way. Four minutes now. Hello, what is it? Uh, do you need something from me? Hello, this is Chow Chow Finance. Mr. Komeji! Oh, you're late on your payments. Oh, yes. I'll pay you back no matter what. So please, uh... Are you sure? I've heard that from you enough times already. Yeah. At this point, I guess we have no choice. Maybe we'll have to get your family involved. Well, what does that mean? Mr. Komeji, if you can't pay back what you owe, this is what happens. Do you understand? In any case, Yonoharu and the good luck. Oh shit. Shoma. Shoma. What? What should I do? Now. What? It's an opportunity for a cue. Prepare the money. Protect Shoma. Yeah, we got plenty of time. I have tons of ways to get money, but Shoma. Shoma is my one and only son. Let me through! I need to protect Shoma! Komeji chose to protect Shoma. Who did K Komeji find? Let's chase after him. If Blank isn't with me, then what's the point of my life? Blank and Blank. If Shoma isn't with me, obviously. That took 50 seconds. Komeji at mini train ride. Shoma is nowhere to be seen. I guess this is like a mini mini train. We're here now. Komeji is back to hosting his show. Are you the conductor? Ride it, small talk. From action without using timey. It's interesting that it's giving me that for this one. Adults can ride this? Really? Do 
Today on Car Window from Another World, we're on a trip from Berlin to Prague. What is Soma doing there? Oh my god, the choo choo train. Soma! Wait! Found Shoma. Okay, this. Alright, never mind. This Somnium's going quick. We're gonna have to come back here, though. After this, an emotional encounter? Tama, go after him. Can we catch up to him? If Shoma's more with me, then what's the point of my you life? You have yeah. three minutes left, Ryuki. Focus. Shoma was like so upset about that. The only one back there? Huh. You only have two minutes. It's Hurry, the Ryuki. Stage Komeji was I wonder if there are any. Well, we saw Komeji's memory, so I think. You're right. Let's go somewhere. Right here. This. This. I'm tired from all the paddling. I'm already regretting this. Look, Shoma is pedaling. That. <laughs> Who cares about the show? Get after Shoma. Say something relatable, Chase. Yeah. Shoma, wait for me! You'll let me borrow money? Really? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I can buy school supplies for Shoma with this money. I said you better not ditch me. <laughs> How am I supposed to celebrate Shoma's birthday? It's tomorrow. Oof. So he's not making any money with his, his life, and that's why he's doing all this. I get one show a month and only get 5,000 yen. I can't buy anything for Shoma. I want to be successful. I need this money. All for Shoma. I don't care what happens to me as long as I have my boy. Shoma, are you there? Hold on, Shoma. I'm gonna save you. A Ferris wheel. I remember Shoma saying he liked them. I wouldn't get on one with Komeji alone, though. Don't think about that now. Okay, but... Need to find Shoma and protect him. This is one of my favorites, the Ferris wheel. I like things that go in circles. Shoma's getting on. Hopefully he'll make it. We're running out of time. This is probably the end.
chase, reminisce, joke about the sot. I only have one option here. Ugh. Th this is what I needed the, the thing for, the timey. Okay, I'm going to protect you. Protect me? What are you talking about? Like I said, I'm here for you. You'll be fine. What are you talking about? I'm fine. I can ride the Ferris wheel by myself. No, that's not what I'm talking about! Soma! Shoma, where are you? Where did you go? Confidential. What's going on? Hey, isn't that an envelope from Horidori Institute? Shoma, where did you go? Shoma! Ryuki, we're out of time. All right, let's go. Couldn't find something important. So this is interesting. There is going to be multiple pads in the past. I wonder how this is going to affect things. Damn it, I wish I, if I'd saved that timey for this last one. I would have, uh... I would have ended with more than a second left. I mean, I gotta redo it anyway, it's no big deal, so... Wow, we actually did it before the three-hour mark hit. 2.13, Joy for Anguish, Ryuki Chapter 3, R2. Alright, we're gonna stop here, but I'm gonna just look through things real quick. Kameji is still asleep. It's taking longer than usual for him to wake up for some reason. I thought we used the correct dosage, but... Maybe his Perhaps weird his insomnium has taken a toll on him. It might be his weird ass head, though. Speaking of, what's going on, Shoma? Where did you go, Shoma? That was an envelope from Horidori Institute. Maybe Komeji saw Shoma holding it. Shoma is related to Horidori Institute somehow. Horidori Lab. The Horidori Institute of Genetics. He lied about the hidden message in Bats 490 pointing to Horidori Institute. Maybe this is related. No point thinking about it. We'll have to ask Shoma directly. The problem is whether he'll answer. Why don't you have Komeji help? Komeji? But he and Shoma are in the middle of a fight. It might actually have the opposite effect. But he's still Shoma's father. Yeah, he should be able to get closer to Shoma's heart than any of us. Hmm, I guess so. Komeji should wake up in about an hour or so. Then let's go see Shoma as soon as he does. By the way, don't even think about slapping Komeji to wake him up after a sink so What? Yo! Komeji woke up an hour later and explained the situation to him about how he looked inside his head, and I also told him about how I saw the envelope with the Horidori Institute's secret document. Komeji told us he saw the contents of the envelope, but it was written in German, so he had no idea what it said. It's unknown whether Shoma can read German or not. My well, question is, where the feck is the mom? She's doing... she sucks. But he surely has no, the know-how to use a translation app, and it was highly likely that Shoma knows what it said. The, mo the mother left him six years ago. In any case, we had to talk to Shoma, and so I asked Komeji for his assistance. I told him if he helped us convince Shoma, we'll overlook his possession of a firearm. And we headed to end old... We headed to the end of household along with Komeji, but... Nothing. 
Looks like Shoma isn't here. Huh. That's weird. He was definitely here when I left the house. He was like child support, goddammit, if what that's the... even a thing in Japan. I mean, it probably is, but... I have your son. If you want him back, you know what to do. It can't be! Terror! What did you say? Terror! Took Soma! Oh. Oh. Kameji, what's going on? Listen! Terror is the one who kidnapped Shoma! I'm sure of it! Ryuki, we need to get the Shoma. Got it. So where is Shoma now? I found the GPS location on his smartphone. He's at Kojo Ariake, the harbor warehouse district. What a shot. <laughs> Shoma! Shoma! What have I done? Kameji! I found out where Shoma is. I'm going to get him. You stay here. I... I'm going to... Please, take me with you. No, it's too dangerous. You should leave it to the police. I don't care! I'm Soma's father! I can't just sit here and do nothing! It's no use trying to stop me. I'll cling to your bumper with my teeth if I have to. Gotta sleep to get back to work tomorrow. Hey, no problem. I'm gonna stop soon in a second. Fine. We have no time to argue. Thanks for stopping by. Let's have a good go. night. Talk to you later, Ryoko. I'll be able to access the menu. Yes, but... He's not inside the van. How do you know? I just do. Anyway, what's going on here? Those are the guys from the, the Institute. suits they're wearing. They're definitely from Horadori Institute. Does this mean Terror is related to Horadori Institute somehow? Most likely, yes. There's Shoma. Shoma! Shoma! Kameji! Damn it! Huh? Who's there? Stop! Well, at least we know he's alive. Shoma! Give Shoma back! Looks like they have no intention of talking it out. Ryuki. Take them out. Roger that. God damn it. Just one spot where I can Behind you. pause. We jumping right into an action sequence. Help. Yuki? 
get Shoma. Right. Damn. Shoot the tire. Shoma. Oh, Mizuki's here. With her superhuman strength, she, uh... I guess broke the windshield? Oh, Shoma. Shoma. I'm so glad you're okay. By the way, are you okay, Missy? Yeah, I'm totally fine. Heard about as much as a hard potato chip stabbing my gums. Oddly specific, details, but okay. But basically, Mizuki has superhuman physical capabilities. Her combat skills are far greater than yours, too. Now that you mention it, Mr. Date said something like that before. Uh, Mizuki. Well, uh... Thanks. <laughs> Don't mention it. You help me with my homework and stuff all the time. Wait a second. Are you Soma's classmate? Well, yeah. More importantly, why are you here, Mizuki? Well, never mind. I don't think we have much time to talk. <sighs> Understood. Scientist with a bazooka. I just received the order. They're all expendable if necessary, including the hostage. Kameji, please hide inside the van with Shoma. You too, Mizuki. What? You want me to hide too? You're kidding, right? You're still in elementary school. I'll be in middle school in the spring. That's pretty much the same thing. Just stay out of this, Ryuki. I'll take care of it myself. There's no way. Then... At least don't get in my way. Okay, let's go. Yeah, Mizuki could fuck him up. Kill them. More action. I wanted to end early tonight. Displaying sights. Thanks, Tama. wearing a helmet. How did that knock him out? Well, whatever. All right. <laughs> yeah, so lightly kick this him in the back. Is my son. He's more important to me than my own life. Whatever happens, I... Uh, I won't let you lay a finger on him! Komeji! Oh, it's, it's Shoeless Girl. Butt action, yeah. Butt action, foot action, arm action, and, and hand action. Dad. Shoma, are you okay? Forget about me. What about you, Dad? Oh, I'm fine. 
I've been trading my body by taking really, really hot baths. It's actually not good for you. So, why did you... I have my reasons. Your reasons? And my raisins. Never mind that now. Look, it's not over yet. Impossible. How many of them are there? You, messy hair and blue hair. Take the old man and the boy to the limousine. I'll hold them off. Then I'm fighting too. I don't need a kid like you here. Go home and watch the Milky Moon anime or something. Milky I'm Moon? I'm not a kid! <laughs> then do as you wish. But you have to protect yourself. Got it? Hell, this masked person is. Summer. Oh shit, we're not done, are we? Let's, and we need to sleep, yeah. my junior high finals essay <laughs> being posted on the internet. You must be on the verge of death, then. Anyway, this isn't looking good. Mizuki and the masked woman are fighting far away from here. They won't be able to assist us. Then I'll... No, you got no chance with your injury. And if you don't make it, you'll put Shoma and Komeiji in danger. Then... what do I do? Throw down your weapons. I'm giving it to the count of three. Scientists. Otherwise, you all die. Fine. One. Two. Why was that one so much louder? Three. Mr. Tate! Sorry to keep you waiting. I'll explain everything later. More importantly... You're a beat user Hold here. on. Don't get hasty. I have some preparations to take care of. What? Huh? Uh... Uh huh. Hmm. Looking at a porno mag. I see, I see. Porno mag. Yep. Let's go. Yeah. That happens in the uh, in the first game. His reaction speed increases significantly when he when he's in the presence of porn. that 
Wow, we went through a whole segment. 24, I found me. Ryuki Chapter 4, R2. Dude, so horny. He's willing to do everything, anything. Wait, what the fuck? Why even? I don't know. Date Residence. 12.05 in the morning. Oh, her mask is upside down. Happy Valentine's Day! What? I mean, it's past midnight now, so the date changed. Oh, it is. It's February 14th. It's February 14th. I suppose it's a happy day for you, old man. You did get your boy back after all. But, Ryuki... Don't worry about my injury. Mr. Date gave me first aid. Oh, look, you actually but see you the blood stain. in the hospital right away. Yes, the bleeding may have stopped, but your nerves were damaged. If you leave it like that, the damage might be permanent. Yeah, I know. But first, I need to ask Shoma something. And? Her, too. It's where Mr. Ms. Date and Mizuki live. I did consider taking Shoma to the interrogation room. But he would be even less likely to talk in a gloomy place like that. I also had to get first aid for my injured left shoulder. So we had to go somewhere relatively close to the warehouse district. With Mr. Date and Mizuki's permission, I brought Shomo Komeji and the Masked Woman to their home. Okay, thank God. We got we got agency here. What chocolate do you like? Bonbon bon de chocolat. Ganduja chocolate bar ganache. Chocolate bar. It's a chocolate with a cute drawing. Or naughty. Well, this ended up going way later than I wanted it to. That's cool. Nirvana, Persona. To have an outer face and an inner face. A false heart. Cool beans, yeah. Yep, there's two... Wait, are there three paths here? Because it looks like there's a... Oh, well, maybe the, the that's because the future part is on the right, yeah. So the, so the branch happens here. So if I get the other ending, I'll get this, which means there's multiple spots in the past as well. I'm wondering what that significance is going to make here, because it worked differently in the first game. They were just kind of alternate histories, but... I don't know. Well, either way, we're going down the leftmost path now. What was the thing Thomas said here? By the way, don't even think about Slappy Komeji to wake him up after a sync session. The brain's in a delicate state. It's better for him to wake up naturally. Alright. Milky Moon, an anime popular with elementary school girls, also known as Mill Moon. They have Mill Moon shows at shopping malls and amusement parks. They used to do stuff like that for anime back in the day. I don't know if they still- I guess they still do. Alright, see if there's any bonus stuff to get, and then I'll end the stream. Nope, there isn't. Cool. Well, that was another good stream. It went longer than I wanted it to, but whatever. Um, thank you for coming. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching, as always. Um, if you want to watch more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wildabandon. Plenty of people streaming there right now. Uh, I will be waking up early tomorrow, or I guess in a couple hours for the Nintendo Direct Mini. And then uh, I may do a couple other things, but tomorrow night will probably be the... I'll, I'll hopefully be here with a substantial stream, the last one before I go away. So after tomorrow, no more streams until next Tuesday. So hopefully we can end this this game on like a pretty good spot. So I'm not coming back to like a total cliffhanger. Then again, maybe a cliffhanger is what, what we need to make things more tense. But uh, yeah, thank you for coming. I'll see you soon and have a good night. 
Bye.